Ward by J.C. McRae. A production by Parahuman Audio. Performed by a cast of fans and volunteers. Please visit parahumanaudio.com to learn more. Thank you and enjoy. A note from the author. Ward is not recommended for young or sensitive readers. Ward is the second work in the Parahumans series, and reading Worm first is strongly recommended. A lot of this won't make sense otherwise, and if you do find yourself a fan of the universe, the spoilers in Ward will affect the reading of the other work. You can read Worm at parahumans.wordpress.com, or you can check out the fan-made audiobook at audiowormreinonlineorg The Glowworm chapters were a teaser event leading up to Worm 2. They aren't required reading, but offer flavor and additional angles by which to view certain characters. They take the form of forum posts, chat conversations, and emails. They're best described as a kind of post-epilogue, pseudo-prologue bridge between the series. If you're not interested or find this hard to read or listen to, feel free to jump ahead to the first chapter of Arc 1, Daybreak. Thank you, and enjoy. Welcome to the Parahumans online message boards. You are currently logged in. Point me at the sky. You are viewing Threads Made in the Last Day, or Threads Marked as Important. Thread OP is displayed. Ten comments per page. Unread messages in private message history. Threads and private messages are ordered chronologically. This account is a Cape in Civilian Clothes, abbreviated CICC, account. Your linked account is a verified CAPE account. You may receive alerts if it is believed that you are compromising either identity. Both linked accounts are in good standing. Topic. We're back online. In Boards. Parahumans Online. Hope in Pithos. Admin Badge. Posted on August 15th, Y1. To call the efforts of everyone involved heroic would be grossly understating things. This IT project required the efforts of 78 PHO staff members, employees of stateside online, former officials of the U.S. government, former members of the United States Space Program, members of the International Space Programs, the Guild, Matsumune in particular, and numerous of independent experts and volunteers. At a time when we're stretched thin and there is an incredible amount of work still to be done, 708 individuals devoted spare time and valuable resources to get us and six other partners online. Things will be clunky and frustrating. For most, with congestion being what it is, things will be slow enough that people can get a cup of coffee and come back to find the page hasn't fully loaded. We've stripped away any bit of polish and the gloss, the header images, badge graphics, and the ability to include video or images are gone for now to keep things simple and easy. We will be moderating very carefully to ensure nobody disrupts anyone's ability to access the site. It will be painful. Help each other. Be patient and contribute the best you can. In so many ways, things will be frustrating, slow, and painful. Care, helpfulness, patience, and contribution will make literal worlds of difference in so many ways. But we're back. Stay tuned for bigger, better things. Bear with us as we sort through it all. Showing page 34 of 34. I heart Lethe. Replied on August 16th, Y1. At DGators. Generally, you want to be careful because you won't get any updates to OS 360 or other PCOSs. 
no patches to your phone. There's no tech support, and there is little recourse for anyone hit with malware. Plausibly, there's a lot of desperate people out there who would see that the defenses are down and we're in early days. It's probably easier for someone to come up with new means of attack than it is for anyone to roll out a proper patch. Presumably, if they wanted to infect systems or get access, they would want to do it now when it would probably let them get access to things that follow. Kill Destroy Kiss, Library Badge Replied on August 17th, Y1 Library Project is moving ahead. Plenty of people brought laptops and phones and were piecing things together by loading from cache. It is more zombie net than real net, but we're finding things. There are more coming, but people want to delete their search histories before they hand their computers over. Because porn. Point me at the sky. Replied on August 17th, Y1. I have access through the portal at the east of the city. When I go through, I've been doing loops through the old neighborhoods to see what I can scrounge up. If you need something to fill major gaps, I can try looking. If not, I'm going to see if I can round off my collection. Would be nice to have a good excuse if I get accused of smuggling or looting, though. Bodhi 5 replied on August 17th, Y1. What collection? Point me at the sky. Replied on August 17th, Y1. Any or all of mask, costumes under clothes, heroin, or shine on. Bodhi 5 replied on August 17th, Y1. Fuck that. I regret asking. Screw the capes. Screw everything about celebrating the capes. They failed us. Point me at the sky. Replied on August 17th, Y1. Edit. Remove this myself. I decided I don't really want to get into this. Bodhi 5. Replied on August 17th, Y1. Just because I'm on a site about capes doesn't mean I like them. It means I recognize how important they are to what happened and what happens next. Kill Destroy Kiss replied on August 17th, Y1. Hmm. At Point Me at the Sky, we're looking to get everything we can recorded digitally. Would you be okay with letting us scan your collection? You're in the city? Point Me at the Sky replied on August 17th, Y1. 100%. I can bring it to your library. PM me of locations and times good for you. Information is too important. End of page 34 out of 34 in this thread. Topic. Headline. Refugees barred access. In Boards. World News, Maine. Boo Chan replied on August 17th, Y1. Transcribed from print. Conrad James Freed and his family could tell a harrowing tale of their trip across Earth Bet's America. They have finally reached the northeastern Bet Gimmel portal, hearing rumor of wait times, only to be told there is a possibility they may not be allowed in at all. They had been driving, hitchhiking, and hiking for four months. They aren't giving us answers, he told Bulletin News on Saturday. Their family had been trying to subsist on their rural property in Wisconsin when the weather took a turn for the worse. Though it was June, Conrad says he saw snow falling on the fields where he had planted the first crop of the season. Two days later, there would be a knock at his door. Authorities had flown over and saw the lights of his house. They warned him the snowfall and the groundwater was contaminated. It would be the last straw, as the unseasonably cold weather had cut into the already thin initial harvest. Conrad says the authorities wanted him and his family to leave right away. They didn't even give us a chance to pack. One of the men even grabbed my daughter. He bruised her wrist he held her so hard. I promised I would cooperate if he would only give us five minutes. I was in shock. He and his wife decided to make the harrowing trip to the nearest portal without the assistance of authorities, a decision he says he made on the spur of the moment after the manhandling of his daughter and the manner in which he was forced from his home. I came to regret that decision. Conrad's story is far from unique. 
Evacuation is still underway even two years and two months after gold morning. Where things took a turn for the worse for Conrad and his family, and where an undisclosed change in policy may affect uncountable refugees from Earth Bet, is that the border agents have apparently ceased processing refugees. Tensions are rising, and as the number of people in the refugee settlement slowly climbs and resources are stretched thinner, people are speaking out. Conrad says, We know there is more than enough space on the other side. We see people coming and going, but they won't let us through, or even meet us to answer our questions. We're willing to settle outside of the city. I know agriculture, and I know they desperately need farmers. Even if they give us a minimum of supplies and tools, it has to be better than this. Bulletin News reached out to authorities and received no response. Thoughts? Anyone know what was up? Showing page 19 of 20. K.G. Ray replied on August 17th, Y1, City West Point Badge. They're letting people through again now, and they're letting a lot through. Speculation might have been right. Article might have been more about political pressure than anything else. Geronimo replied on August 17th, Y1. Official word is that they wanted to pause and get organized so they could double the number of people coming through. Doesn't make a lot of sense when it comes to their silence until now. Nakiak, Cape Geek Badge, replied on August 17th, Y1. Lots of capes stationed at the portal. Some thinkers like Squint and Danger Zone are there. Pretty sure if you watch how they rotate in and out, there will always be one thinker on duty. Screening refugees? Point me at the sky, replied on August 17th, Y1. Nakiak. Could be. Could be that it means less need for pain-in-the-ass background checks with internet running at 33k. Danger Zone sees likelihood a person commits violence to each and every person around them. Recency, flavor of violence. Squint sees contraband, possible other hazards. Skip background check. Move people along. Boucher replied on August 17th, Y1. Speaking of security, there was another thread where someone said something about rock in a hard place. It's apparently being talked about a lot among the refugees. Nutty replied on August 17th, Y1. At Boucher, this article. Search for Nancy Y's statement. People traveling across the U.S. to get to portals are being warned about multiple threats. Word on the Cape Vine is that with everyone having pulled out, all former quarantine zones are breached. In the U.S. and elsewhere. Nilbog is the one everyone knows about. He's in custody. His children aren't. If you're paying attention to hero groups and their movements, they're making lots of trips out. They're tired, and people say they're aloof. I say they're fighting a hard fight, and they're keeping their distance from public and media because they don't want us to know it. Bodhi 5 replied on August 17th, Y1. They don't want to tell us a lot of things. What even happened? The world ended, and nobody is willing to explain. Point me at the sky, replied on August 17th, Y1. Boucher. A big part of what was being talked about in other similar articles was the threat of bandits, bad weather, the wasteland and chasms, unstoppable robot armies, the food shortages. Edit. Nutty beat me to it. Slow internet sucks. I think Bodhi is a good example of why they're aloof. People want to assign blame. Assign the blame to the man who did this. In times of crisis, look to the people who are helping. Support them or try to be one of them. Post removed and user infracted. Deep Well 5 replied on August 17th, Y1. I agree for the most part, point at, but it's more complicated than that. I got aside with my Bodhi. We made a covenant with the Capes. We put up with a lot. In exchange, they were supposed to protect us. It's pretty clear they didn't. Maybe it was impossible. That's fine. But let's not ignore that they broke their end of the contract. Let's not ignore that the PRT is gone. We no longer have non-capes in charge of them, and they have more proportional power than ever. Let's not ignore that they're making a new PRT without any of the key rules that define the last one. Less communication. No oversight.
I'm scared. You should be too. Don John replied on August 17th, Y1. Amen. End of page 19 out of 20 in this thread. Private messages from Glitz Glam. You can't engage with them. You gotta let it lie. Point me at the sky. I'm worried about what happens if the wrong ideas get traction. Glitz Glam. So am I. I'm more worried about you. Thought you might need pep talk. Have you got that email yet? Hmm? Point me at the sky. If this is a pep talk, it isn't a very good one. Glitz Glam. That's a no, huh? Fuck. You're right, though. I hate typing on phone. Ice cream or coffee, I pep talk you in person, when you can fit it into Gray's schedule. Point me at the sky. You're a beautiful person. Yes. Sounds nice. Soon. Glitz Glam. We can talk about how gang is getting together for big shebang and what a disaster it will be. Point me at the sky. <laughs> You're doing the terrible pep talk thing again. Glitz Glam. New message. Aww. Aww. You have three unread private messages from an anonymous account. Click here to read. Welcome to the Parahumans online message boards. You are currently logged in, Capricorn. You are viewing threads in your curated list. Edit that list here. Thread OP is displayed. 10 comments per page. Unread messages in private message history. Threads and private messages are ordered chronologically. This account and associated accounts are in good standing. Topic. Info and update. In. Boards. Teams. Reach. Private. Moonsong. Posted on August 18th, Y1. PHO is back on, and they're letting the chats run. That's where we usually meet, but I've been warned it's choppy and slow. I'll be there. This took me three hours just to get started with. It's hard. It is with the heaviest of hearts that I inform you that Coiffure did pass. When gold morning arrived, we suspected that something might have happened, given the reports. She was killed in one of the initial strikes on the East Coast. She was a friend, a teammate, and she was a true hero. She elevated others around her to be better people by the standards she lived by. Coiffure is survived only by her father. Her mother was one of my favorite adults. She was kind, she was cool, and she was a genuinely good mom to Coiffure. When we went back to school in the fall, she gave us really cool back-to-school supplies. It remains in my memory as one of the most randomly nice things that a relative stranger has done for me. You'll also remember her siblings, Arthur and Cal, though you might not remember their names. When the family came by, Arthur would be the one curled up in a big chair near the front desk with one of his game things. <laughs> Cal would be watching over his big brother's shoulder. I always thought it was hilarious how uninterested they were in capes. Uh, we can expect they all died instantaneously. I've talked to Coiffier's father. I would suggest that if you do happen to run into him, leave him be. He doesn't want reminders. Fur Kate decided to fight on that monumental day, and that says so much when not everyone was brave enough to do that. Fur Kate was wild and tortured and beautiful. They were a handful, and yet they rewarded us with ten positive things for every negative we had to overcome. I'd like to think they got something out of putting up with us in much the same way. I want what I say here to be honest. I did not get along with Fur Kate the vast majority of the time. Fur Kate did not get along with me. I still respected them immensely. They said one word for every thousand the rest of us said, and yet they could convey so much in their actions. I keep saying those things, using math like ten times over, but it's so very Fur Kate. They overflowed. 
They swelled. The cup runneth over. I look back and I'm dazed by how much of a place they found in my heart and my thoughts. It might be crass to say, but I don't know if anyone's going to have words for them. Scritch and Scratch were the closest thing we had to a nemesis. They had their scummy moments. They also kept to the rules. They were killed during one of the lulls in fighting by a group I won't name. The fates of Tribute, Boundless, Capricorn, and Steam Wheel are yet unknown. I hope you guys are okay. I'm alive, obviously. Figurehead is alive, but you should all know his issues with being controlled. The events really shook him. He's retired in large part. He'll be doing something KP, but he said he isn't coming on PHO. He asked me to wish you all the best. Showing page one of one. No replies. End of page one. Connecting to pchat.parahumansonline.teamreach. Attempt 90. Resolving host name. Connecting. Connected. Using the identity CAP. Welcome to Team Reach Private Chat. Forum thread link here. Click here to see messages older than three days. Old message A162224. Moonsong has joined the chat. Old message, A162253. Moonsong has changed the chat topic. Welcome to the Team Reach private chat. List of alive and list of dead here. Old message, A162320. Moonsong. Post made in the forum. I only mentioned the team members. See topic links for staff members and others I know about. Old message. A-17-103. Moonsong. I've edited the post to add scritch and scratch. Old message. A-17-415. Moonsong has left the chat. Old message. A-17-1015. Moonsong has joined the chat. Old message. A-18-201. Moonsong has left the chat. Old message. A-18-950. Moonsong has joined the chat. A18 110420. Cap has joined the chat. Cap. Hey. Moonsong. Hi, Tristan. Cap. <laughs> Every time. The universe has a dark sense of humor, it seems. Moonsong. I'm glad you're alive, Tristan. I suppose it does. Cap. I'm glad you're alive, too, believe it or not. Moonsong. Were you there? Cap. Was dragged into it. Glad I was, though. Moonsong. Nods. How is your brother? Cap. Doing well, as can be expected. Moonsong. And your family? Your parents? I liked them when I saw them. Cap. Alive. We're in the city. They're trying to come to terms with things. Things are really coming together like crazy. New skyscrapers every day. New stores. Good. And almost like a city in Earthbed. But it isn't really home. Moonsong. It isn't. We're in the city, too. Cap. You and your folks? They're okay? Moonsong. They're good. Dad is taking a shot at mayor or councilman, and we'll see what happens. Cap. Good for him. Thriving? Moonsong. Nobody is thriving these days. But he's in his element. Cap. Some are thriving. We're all playing nice. Truce in full effect. Masterminds and chess masters are having a ball out there. Guarantee it. Moonsong. I suppose we'll see. Cap. I read your post, by the way. Good words. Kudos. Moonsong. Thank you. Cap. I'm surprised you're here, though. Is Reach still a thing? Moonsong. I consider the others friends and teammates... I consider myself a member of Reach. Cap. I get that. Doesn't answer my question. Will it carry on? What happens? Moonsong. It won't. I don't think so anyway. There's a lot of hero teams out there, and it's hard for a sponsored team to get traction even without people feeling betrayed. Cap. 
Yeah. Moon song. A lot of teams are gathering under the wardens, PRT like. They're walking a fine line between emulating PRT and being PRT. Lots of teams under the umbrella. <laughs> I'm not sure it's working. I don't know if I want to get on board with that. I don't know if the others would. Cap. That's fair. Moonsong. I will always be a member of Reach, even if the team has dissolved. Cap. I like that. Since when were you so good with words? Moonsong. Since when did you pay attention to anyone but yourself? Cap. Mm. Moonsong. Hmm? Cap. 45 minutes of something approaching civility has to be a record for us. Moonsong. I see. Yes, it could be. Cap. I would have liked to keep that streak going. Oh well. Moonsong. Are you well, Tristan? Cap. I see we're going straight to the barbs. Moonsong. No barbs, I genuinely want to know. Cap. How uncharacteristically nice of you. Moonsong. Do I need to worry about you? Cap. No. You helped more than enough. Moonsong. I don't know. Cap. Don't you? Moonsong. I've spent a lot of time hoping you died. Cap. Wow. Jeez. Moonsong. Shrug. Cap. Jeez. There is no humanity in there at all, is there? Just takes the world to end before I get a glimpse of the real you. Moonsong. Let's not pretend, Tristan. Cap. Pretend what? You decided you hated me before you ever got to know me. You're really your father's daughter. Two-faced. Anyone reading between the lines can see what you really thought about Furcate. Moonsong. I meant what I wrote. Cap. A thinly veiled outline of Furcate's many problems. You couldn't resist saying you didn't like them. Moonsong. Are you done? Cap. You made Furcate more miserable than anyone. Moonsong. Apparently not. Cap. You never once tried to understand them, just like you never once tried to understand me. You had your notions of how everyone was supposed to behave. How everyone was supposed to be. You know what they call people who come to judgment about people before they have the facts? The label applies, Moonsong. You wedged yourself into a situation you didn't understand, and you made it so much worse. What guts me is you think you are right to do it. Moonsong. I didn't like Furcate. I did love and respect him as a teammate. I damn well held him at the end for a long time. I talked to him the entire time. Motherfucker. I'm crying now. And no. I don't know if I was right, Tristan. Cap. Moonsong, admitting she might be wrong? Did the world end or something? Moonsong. Go fuck yourself, Tristan. That wound is too fresh. Cap. Mm. Yeah. I'll own up to that. Moonsong. You're admitting you were wrong? What happened to you these past few years? Cap. Not enough. Not nearly enough. Moonsong. Guess not. What a shame. Cap. That wound is fresh in its own way. Just so you know. Moonsong. All right. Cap. Fuck. This is a mess. We should keep our distance. Moonsong. Do I need to come after you? Cap. No. Fuck you. No. What the fuck was that about not thinking you were right? Don't answer that. Do me a favor and shut up for a second. Dash, 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 dash. Members of Reach, don't scroll up past this line. It's just Moonsong and I being shitty at each other. If you join the team after I left, you probably won't get it. Furkate, Asukar, you were one of my favorites. Those days were some of my best and some of my worst. You are some of the best parts of the best days. Quaff, after everything that happened, I thought I might not want to be a hero anymore. Your example is the only reason I still want to. You are one of the good few. To the rest who aren't here, be well. <laughs> I, I'm better at saying stuff in person. Moonsong. I'll let the others know you said it. Cap. Thanks. Moonsong. Tristan. Cap. Yeah? Moonsong. 
When I said I was wrong in how I handled things, I wonder every day if I should have gone further and killed you. Cap. Lovely. You had to spoil it. A18, 1252.06. Cap has disconnected. Connecting to 4 apostrophe ampersand bracket N8 slash angle bracket V percent 369 ZAM. Resolving host name. Connecting. Connected. Using identity. 3A colon colon U at T N key. No topic set. X29V5N. You're the Latino kid? 3A colon colon U at T N key. Yeah. How does this work? X. You into memorabilia then? T N key. Sure. Memorabilia. I miss my old collection. X. The person who referred you should have explained most of it. T N key. Some. X. Let's say you're into commemorative plates. Plate with a hero or a villain's face on it. You care a lot about the plate and its delivery. T N key. Sure. X. We ensure you get the result you want. Insurance. T N key. Sounds like just what I need. X. We offer tiers. Different tiers for various degrees of thoroughness. T N key. Can you give me a quick rundown? X. Most basic tier, you throw a few hundred our way, depending on who is involved, who we put forward, and who you expect is going to need to hear it. Words. We talk, we let them know we're serious about wanting X, Y, and Z. No hassle. We throw our weight around a bit. Yeah? T N key. Yeah. X. Maybe you want to ensure that plate ends up in the most ideal condition. A thousand or a few thousand cover a bit of roughing up. Scratch on the face, scuffing, the sort of thing that can be fixed up. T N key. Can we maybe not talk about commemorative plates? Maybe action figures? Plates make me think of my abuela. X. If you want more coverage for your action figures, depending if we're talking B-lister or A-lister or something bigger, we might be talking upwards of five, ten thou for more severe damage. Ruined leg, arm, the sort of damage to the face that would take an expert to restore. T N key. Getting pretty steep. X. We're talking cape shit. It's in high demand, limited supply. Prices climb. T N key. Just observing. Is there a higher tier? What's the highest tier? X. Highest tier covers complete and total destruction, pulling out all the stops. Starts at twenty thou, but I gotta warn you, the sky is the limit. T N key. That sounds good. X. Good. T N key. Would you be willing to let me pay half up front? We'd keep you guys in reserve. Particulars get complicated. X. We work with complicated, yes. That could be workable. We will need to negotiate pricing. Did they tell you how to send the image of the product? T N key. Image link. X. Perfect. No, wait. You got the instructions very wrong, kid. T N key. It's fine. X. You're sure? There's something deeply wrong with this. T N key. Why don't we meet for the rest? I'll send you the first half now. There. X. All right. Let's talk meeting places. Connecting to pchat. dot parahumans online. dot team reach. Attempt eighty. Resolving host name. Connecting. Connected. Using the identity cap. Welcome to Team Reach private chat. Forum thread link here. Could not load chat archive. Click here to try again. A eighteen twenty two o eight sixteen. Cap has joined the chat. Cap. Hey. Tribute. Fuck me. Moon song. It's fine. Don't stress. Cap. Hi, Moo. Wish I knew how you did that. Moon song. Hi, Boo. How are you doing? Cap. I'm doing okay. Just had a very surreal experience talking to a certain kind of professional. Moon song. That's good to hear. I think. Tribute. Huh? Moon song. Best not to talk about it, though. Cap. Yeah. Moon song. 
I've missed you terribly, Boo. We should catch up. Cap, I want to. I don't know if we should. Moonsong nods. Cap, I just wanted to say hi. Maybe bye. Ask you not to come after me or anything. Moonsong nods. So long as the professional you hired has it covered. Cap, yeah, covered. Welcome to the Parahumans online message boards. You are currently logged in, Mangled Wings. You are viewing threads you have replied to. Thread OP is displayed. Ten comments per page. Unread messages in private message history. Threads and private messages are ordered chronologically. This account is new and is under probationary status. Posting may be limited and link posting may be blocked. Topic. Amnesty and the Devil We Know. In Boards. News. Events. Gimmel.us. E.S. Reaver. Posted on August 19th, Y1. I've seen a few articles and wanted to compile them. There's a narrative here. If you don't grasp it, then bear with me, and I'll sum up my thoughts at the end. Link to article. Strange reversals. Villain to hero and link to forum thread. The number of heroes is rising. Multiple known villains have shucked off the black capes for white ones, which is a good thing, right? Link to article, no witnesses remain, and link to forum thread. The article identifies three villains who we know about in heroic groups, two with the wardens and one with shelter. They committed crimes, we have some limited information or scraps of wiki articles, but the witnesses of those past crimes are either dead or yet to establish themselves. We established standards for amnesty, but sometimes those standards can't be met. The ex-villains find places on the team with nobody to naysay. Link to article, two black raincoats, and link to forum thread. Let's get to the examples. Four youths tried to get superpowers by working off the trigger theory of power gain and became a newsworthy case in 2004. The event got out of hand. One boy and one girl took charge and preyed on the two younger members of the group, torturing them over the course of a weekend. Nobody gained powers. The search for the missing children led to the two older children being identified as they went into town on the Monday to get food and buy power tools, including a circular saw. They revealed the location of their victims, one of whom apparently lost fingers as the wire that was used to attach them to the toilet tank was too tight. Unnamed boy was sent to juvie. Unnamed girl was sent to psychiatric care. Both gained powers while in care. Both were released in or around 2009. Reuniting, now with powers, they killed three people, wearing black raincoats to keep the blood off, and were not caught. They have been spotted in several locations at the Rochester Span, wearing the black raincoats. For the time being, the amnesty applies, Chief Armstrong stated to the media, we know where they are, and we're keeping tabs. Good enough? Link. Article, rendered, torn up, and dismembered. And link to forum thread. Written after Miss Militia and Vista, heroines under the wardens, were seen on several occasions in the company of Hellhound, also known as Bitch or Rachel Lint raises questions about the moral compromise the amnesty has wrought and the long-standing allegations that the protectorate team in Brockton Bay was cooperating with the local villains. Once the relationship is established and we're reminded of the past examples, the article devotes the latter half to reminding us of some of Rachel Lint's deeds when she was working with a group of warlords to seize Brockton Bay. Every day I wake up and I try to move my leg. 
the wind gets knocked out of me when it doesn't move like it should. If I'm active at all during the day, then the pain hits me in the evening. Link to article, Fallen, What You Need to Know, and Link to Forum Thread. The Fallen operate as a cult, and they're one of the largest cape groups around. The article doesn't talk about it directly, but the forum thread has some great posts on the subject. See page 3 and 12. Their recruitment members are swelling, and I, and others, think it's the amnesty that's letting them get away with it. There's a lot of talk of Lachlan Hund, article linked, elsewhere, and there might be a court case revolving around what others are saying was a powers-assisted abduction. Totally fallen M.O. For years prior, family says Lachlan never showed any pro-fallen sentiment before this. Link to article, no cost, and link to forum thread. Same article author as No Witnesses Remain. Following up on several villains who didn't turn hero, the author finds two villains, both anonymous, who claim they received accommodations at a time when many were still living in the tent cities. They got ahead of the line, got basic apartments and utilities paid for, and they contribute nothing except the fact that they aren't, as far as we know, committing crimes these days. It's like we've caved to extortion. We need to have a dead serious conversation about the amnesty. Justice shouldn't fall by the wayside. Absolutely horrific individuals get their second chances, but they get them at the expense of the safety and peace of mind of others. They get things easier. We heard the arguments why at the start. We had other things to think about and deal with. Heroes had other things. We thought. We dealt. The heroes handled the bigger needs. That was then. Don't get me wrong, I'm not buying into the anti-cape sentiment you see here and there. But I'm anti-these capes. I'm anti-this. Showing page 52 of 52. Dive Bucket. Posted on August 19th, Y1. Where do they go, though? What are we supposed to do? No birdcage, no max security prisons, bare-bones legal system, no stable government to put either of those in place, no resources, no records, no witnesses, as OP says. Erasmus, posted on August 19th, Y1. We have strict control over the portals. Send them out to bed. Close the doors, or guard them. Mlek. Is Mlek badge. Posted on August 19th, Y1. Slash. Mlek oozes in. Mlek thinks that would cause more problems than it solves. Mlek thinks they would want to attack the doors. Mlek thinks of the refugees who haven't made it to us yet. Mlek decides. Bad. Idea. Slash Malek oozes out. Mangled Wings. Posted on August 19th, Y1. What's wrong with extortion? What's wrong with taking measures? If you stand at the bottom of a hill and a car starts rolling down it with nobody in the driver's seat, what do you do? The way some of you imbeciles are talking about this, I can't help but think you would stand there bitching about the situation until the car hits you. Get out of their way first, and then make sure it wasn't one part of bigger problem or disaster. Then, and only then, do you address the problem with your indignation and sense of injustice, cold, clear, and gripped in steady hands. Find some weapon or power, and take action. Team Lancer, posted on August 19th, Y1. At Mangled Wings. 1. Villains aren't cars. Villains are humans. They're accountable for their actions. 2. We have more choices than get out of their way. We're part of a greater society. We have the choice of catering to them or treating them like the scumbags they are. We're accountable for how we respond to them. Our government is accountable for how they respond to them. 3. Imbeciles isn't helping foster good discussion. 4. 
Can someone please ban Malek? They're in every other thread. Admin said they would deal with low investment content. 5. Why the fuck is Malek one of the only people with working badges? Mangled Wings. Posted on August 19th, Y1. There are three kinds of villain. There are villains at rest that don't do anything unless bothered, and they may be easy to bother. Don't bother them unless you're sure you're stronger than them. If you don't have powers, you aren't stronger than them. There are villains in motion. They want something, or they're going somewhere. Don't get in their way unless you're a lot stronger than them. Catch them from the flanks, or from behind, if you're strong and clever enough. These two kinds of villains don't budge. I've known a lot of them. I know how they operate. It takes a lot to move the ones at rest, and it takes a lot to change the course of the ones in motion. You can't do either. Don't try. The third kind is the kind worth paying attention to, and they're the ones that are changing or that can change. Objects in motion stay in motion, and objects at rest stay at rest, and the times and situations to watch out for are when they change states. The people bitching here don't know enough and don't have the power to handle any of that. Get stronger. Get smarter. Leave it to the people who know stuff to tell each group apart and to know when to handle things. New Ohm Star. Posted on August 19th, Y1. Like you? You act like you're the only one who understands the situation. What guarantee is there that they're ever going to handle these things? People and institutions do what's easiest. P.F. Malek is the only one deserving badge. Cult of Malek! Ron of Couches. Posted on August 19th, Y1. Adding Articles, Part 3, Keeping to Ops Format. Valkyrie interviewed and thread link. Rising star in the Wardens. Exceptionally powerful, many references to the Green Maiden, or something. Might harken back to before my time. She is asked directly about this in the interview, and deflects. Shepherd's Crook and Threadlink. Not many posts. Team started up and fell apart. Reason why? One ex-nemesis and lover of the team leader was invited to the team. They went full Yoko. Shepherds, no more. Endemic is the word. Mangled Wings. Posted on August 19th, Y1. Like me, New Amstar, I have worked with more than 20 villains. I am a villain. When I give you recommendations about leaving sleeping dogs alone, I am referring to myself. When I tell you that you want to get out of the way if I have something I want, referring to myself. I am not one of the leeches. I pay for my own apartment. I make no trouble. Yet. Yes, I am talking to the heroes. They keep their eye on me, and I keep my eye on them. There are other factors. This makes degrees of sense you are not equipped to comprehend. For now, it is fine, and you should take my word for it. I'm aiming to get stronger. I'm aiming to get smarter. I am not the only one doing this. If you spend your time bitching on the internet instead of doing the same, then you're one of the imbeciles because things are changing and you will fall behind. I can verify any of this if I must, but I don't know how, as I am new to this site. Point me at the sky. Posted on August 19th, Y1. If you send me a private message, I can walk you through it. It would be faster to contact an active admin directly. End of page 52 out of 52 in this thread. Private conversation with Point Me at the Sky. Mangled Wings, you said you'd help. Point Me at the Sky. Hello to you, too. Click on your username while reading any thread you've posted in. Go to the Help panel. There will be a list of options. Third box, second option, badge verification. You might want to open a new window so you can go back from this combo to that. Mangled wings. It says import image. Point me at the sky. Take a picture of yourself in costume and a piece of paper with your username on it. Connect phone or camera to computer. Find the image and select it. Hit the select button on the bottom corner of the window. Mangled wings. I don't have a phone or camera. Point me at the sky. Does your computer have a camera built into the monitor? Mangled wings. Yes. Point me at the sky. OS 360? Mangled wings. Yes, I think. Point me at the sky. Draw the circle in the center of the desktop to open the radial menu. Hit C 
and camera should be something visible. Open it. Wait for your image to appear. You'll want to be in costume. Hit space. Mangled wings. It made a shutter sound. Point me at the sky. You were in costume already? Mangled wings. It's fine. Point me at the sky. Sure. You'll find the picture in the pictures bubble. Mangled wings. Thank you. I found it. I imported it. It wants me to put in a label before I hit select. Point me at the sky. Fill in, I guess. I don't know if you really want to do that. You might want to go cape if you want to fly under the radar. People are sore about villains these days. Mangled wings. I don't fly under the radar. I know what I am, and I know what I'll be if I don't die first. Thank you for the help. I respect this more than I respect the more self pitying of the invertebrates out there. Point me at the sky. All right. I'm unfortunately afflicted with desire to help people. <laughs> Mangled wings. A dire inflection, that. Point me at the sky. <laughs> I don't know if you're at rest or moving or if you're open to change, but you catch more flies with honey than vinegar. Things will go smoother if you don't call them invertebrates or imbeciles. And maybe stay at rest a little longer given the chance. I think they really need it. We all need it. Also, it just occurred to me. If you connect at a library, you want to delete the image before you go. Overwrite it once it is deleted to be sure. Mangled wings. You kill more flies with vinegar in reality. A person can rest only so long. I'm restless. Point me at the sky. What a pity. Spend more time online. Geek out. Learn. Less time spent being bad. Mangled wings. I am not averse to learning. We will see if there is any pity to be had. I am at a library. I will do that. Point me at the sky. You can draw the circle and hit O to find overwrite. Mangled wings. I already found it. Thank you. Goodbye. Invitation to Group Conversation by Strange Mammal Strange Mammal And I think this is her. Mangled Wings, I'm here. Strange Mammal We thought you'd be one of the stragglers. Mangled Wings, I don't straggle. At worst, I am fashionably late. Strange Mammal You said you hadn't really used a computer before. Mangled Wings, I hadn't. I'm a fast learner. Cap, this is A. Strange mammal. It's A. We're using first letters to stay on down low, until we figure out what we're doing. Cap. How long did it take to figure it out, eh? Mangled wings. Less than an hour. Mammal is? Strange mammal. C. Mangled wings. I see. Heart-shaped pupil. Ah! A! Mangled wings. This would be K. Heart-shaped pupil. I was viewing old videos and saw some vids of you. Mangled wings. I didn't know I had any. Heart-shaped pupil. So cool. So excited to be working with you. Strange mammal. At K slash heart-shaped pupil. Type like a grown-up. My eyes are already bleeding. Cap. <laughs> heart-shaped pupil. Got it. I'm saving vids. Show you at next face-to-face -face meet. Mangled wings. Okay. Cap, we still waiting on S and R. Strange mammal. They said they would have some trouble getting access. Cap, yes. I got to go. We check in again. Same time. Hammer something out? Mangled wings. Yes. Strange mammal. I will keep an eye out for R and S. Cap has left the conversation. Heart-shaped pupil. Downloading. Downloading. Getting off chat to download faster. Bye! Heart-shaped pupil has left the conversation. Mangled wings. Bye. Ah, that was fast. I'll go too. Strange mammal. FYI. Mangled wings. I don't know this word. Strange mammal. For your information, others can see time you spend online on your profile. You spent longer than one hour. You've been online all day. Mangled wings. I am at the library. Something to do with that, I think. Strange mammal. 
it doesn't work that way. I'm 95% sure. There is no need to lie, A. The reason for this project is supposed to be we know each other. Kay will find out if she doesn't already know. She pays attention to those things. Mingled wings. If you are 95% sure, there is still 5% chance you are wrong. Assume you are wrong before you get on my bad side. You do not want to get on my bad side. Strange mammal. Okay. You have left the conversation. Welcome to the Parahumans online message boards. You are currently logged in of five. Searching for threads with the term multi-trigger or with the term grab bag or with the term cluster trigger or with the term mosaic and the term powers and give higher relevance to the term article and give higher relevance to the term science and ignore capitalization and punctuation and show topics and replies made within the last year. Topic. JRPNA. Use of cluster powers, serial powers, matched powers, and nth generation powers to identify hinge points in power expression, 1998. In Boards, Parahuman Science. As a veil, PRT Science Badge. Posted on June 4th, 2002. Article. Studies into parahuman abilities presently catalog studied powers into three major databases, the PRT database in the U.S., the Cambridge Parahuman Studies Facility, and the EUJP International Listing. The lists are formed by way of interview and laboratory studies with each institution using universally standardized forms in addition to supplementary material. Each of these three institutions have stated an expressed or strongly implied desire to understand and predict expressions of power and tie these expressions to the inciting incidents. However, a long-standing problem in this process is that powers expressed, inciting incidents, and contextual factors can be dramatically different across individual cases. While some common themes can be drawn out, derived results are traditionally very big picture. It is only recently that databases have begun to include sufficient numbers of special case triggers that allow more focused study of how powers are expressed. We identified cluster powers, serial powers, matched powers, and nth generation powers as the special cases to focus on in more focused examination of how power instances can be mapped, and we posit a hinge point illustration of power expression in theory. Definitions Cluster powers are defined as powers wherein multiple inciting incidents occur either simultaneously or within a minute of one another. Such parahumans will have a collection of smaller powers related to the others. Serial powers are defined as cases where an individual or multiple individuals in long-standing proximity to a parahuman will develop powers. Click here to read the full article. Five of 280 replies match search criteria. Of five. Replied on August 20th, Y1. Link is broken. WMD 377, PRT Science Admin Badge. Replied on August 20th, Y1. Yes, tagged. It's good to keep track and note this. This article was pretty important to the time. It'll be worth finding someone with it in print and transcribing. Keep letting us know. It helps us track which articles are most important and desired. What's your field? Double Time Collies. Replied on August 20th, Y1. I have this one. I can transcribe over the weekends. Want me to DM you the transcription of five? Of five. Replied on August 20th, Y1. That would be helpful. Thank you. No field. I'm furthest thing from scholar. A lot of this is going over my head. Personal interest only. WMD 377, PRT Science Admin Badge. Replied on August 20th, Y1. Keep in mind that serial and nth generation, also known as second generation and third generation powers, are now the same thing. End of page 1.
Click here to view full list of pages. Topic. Multi-trigger case studies. Parahumans 303 class notes. Spinky. September 15, 2009. In Boards. Parahuman Science. Non-Articles. Right Sector. Posted on September 17, 2009. From Wednesdays with Professor Spinky. Posted with permission. Cleaned up where I could. Overview. What are clusters? Other names are mosaic powers, expression, grab bag, multi. Effect on resulting power. Why important and importance to study. Case studies. Greater effects, things to keep in mind. Part 1. What are clusters? Two to six people trigger at the same time or very close together. Each gets a suite of powers. Person A gets Person A primary power and fragment of B, C, D, E, and F. Person B gets Person B primary power and fragment A, C, D, etc. Part 2. Effect on resulting power. Term secondary expressions. Weaker or subtle power. Can be conditional. Primary powers may be weaker than if they had triggered alone. Powers inspired by others but not identical. The relation may be tertiary. Example, given fire breath. Fire something or something breath. Professor stresses this is a very basic example. Term for staying element is hinge, old, or dominant, current. Relates to 1998 article. Part 3. Why important and importance to study? Suggests powers aren't 100% predetermined. Certain elements are highlighted or made dominant. We can extrapolate from studies like this and serial triggers to work out key elements of existing triggers. What changes and why equals what factors are important in standalone, non-special trigger. Case studies. Two cases and how we look at them. Two case studies. Interview, self-reporting, examination. Case study one. Sunder Brothers. Take note for future week, matched powers. We come back to this. Brother number one. Destruction caused to objects ripples out indefinitely, stopping at clear demarcations, images included in lecture notes. Weapon extension without limit, except convenience. Brother number two. Weapon sweep extension. Some range extension. Wider arcs, shock waves, left, right of swing. Stomp to destroy ground in immediate area. The class pauses. Professor asks and responds to input regarding dominant factors in each power. Cute girl in the red top finally comes up with answer that satisfies Spinky. Destruction and weapon attack augmentation are the dominant slash staying slash hinge factors. Question of range versus breadth between brothers. Not very lopsided in power difference between primary and secondary power. Spinky's stress on not. We get some slides of brothers' recreation of trigger circumstance. Distance from threat. Professor Spinky highlights personality traits brothers used on forms they filled out, all as reasoning for different power expressions. Case study number two, foul and fair. Foreign capes, names that follow are badly translated. Oxfair, physical augmentation, size, strength, speed, agility, which is primary, deafening roar, Transfer harm from falls slash some impacts to nearby others. Pain resistance slash faster healing. Ramfare. Emotion affecting chant. Size increase. Some ability to heal very recent damage of others listening to chant or that are touching. Gathering strength slash concentrating allows for giant leaps. Foulcock. Yes, the class laughed. 
flight with buildup of speed over time. Speed is transferred to touched others, interrupting flight to deliver high-impact blows. Increased agility, deafening shriek, fast recovery of smaller wounds. Yes, scratches, no for recovery of larger wounds. Foul pig. Personal biokinesis. Swell into flesh bubble with fast recovery slash personal mutations if not popped in time. Some strength and size increase, but slower while grown. Ability to roll with incoming impacts. Mover expression turns into boulder. Guttural noise. Flatulence. Burps. To interrupt thought processes. Turn off other brains momentarily. Discussion of dynamic. Fair and foul on opposite sides post-trigger. Only fair provided answers and allowed power testing. Rest has to be inferred. Handouts. Some discussion of trigger event. See slides for images. Some discussion of resulting package. Powers for each individual distinct but play off each other in a semi-complementary way. Reflective of their personality? Or is it the guiding hand principle? Part 4. Greater effects and things to keep in mind. Things touched on in homework reading. Kill slash kiss. More on this in parahuman psychology class in a few weeks. Personality bleed. Personality traits bleed over from one individual to another? Messy. Higher incidences of paranoia, confrontation, aggression, PTSD, less bounce back? Higher rate of death post-trigger. Kill slash kiss again. Graph. Professor Spinky stresses emotional states may play into the above. Triggers that are sufficient to draw in multiple individuals are worse than average. But you can't jump to conclusions. Correlation does not equal causation. Two of 1,140 replies match search criteria. Of five. Replied on August 20th, Y1. Lecture slides and graph missing. Dig a well. Replied on August 20th, Y1. Thank you again, of five. Nothing we can do about that one. End of page one. Click to view full list of pages. Joined Group Conversation, Questionable Mammal, Heart-Shaped Pupil, Cap. Heart-Shaped Pupil, R! Of five. Hi, Kay. Missed you earlier. Am at library with friend. Researching. Heart-Shaped Pupil, this is friend you've talked about, Winky Face. Of five. She is the friend. She's helping with technical side. Searches. Heart-Shaped Pupil, hi, friend! Thank you for being good to our R. Of five. She had another computer now. I got her bored. I wouldn't join this chat if she was watching. Heart-shaped pupil. Aw. Of five. We stumped at the moment. Everything links to outside articles. Dead ends. Most stuff I already know. And I know very little. A isn't here? Questionable mammal. I scared her off. She'll be back, I think. We still waiting on S. Technical issues. She's at workshop later this week. You need A? Of five. No, just wondering. Wanted K, actually. Heart-shaped pupil. Yes! Ah. Of five. You know this site. I want search terms to find some people. Articles, anything else. Would we'll need to cover a lot of bases. Normal site search limits number of terms. Heart-shaped pupil. Uh, that hard? You want package search string? I can try. Questionable mammal. You're looking for others in your set? Of five. Yes. Questionable mammal. I can make attempt. Give me time. You might want to fine-tune after. Heart-shaped pupil. Aww. Of five. Thanks. I owe you one. Questionable mammal. I got games, by the way. We'll give on next meet. Of five. I owe you two. Questionable mammal. 
No, not big deal. Go, keep researching. Heart-shaped pupil. Entertain, lady friend! Questionable mammal. And that. Of five. Getting off chat. Friend blames slow connection through node. Thank you again. Questionable mammal. I DM you when I have something. Keep eye out. Topic. EUJPR. Relationship Entanglement in Cluster Triggers, 2005. In Boards, Parahuman Science. J.R. Max. Posted on February 18th, 2005. Translation. Colloquially known as the kill-kiss dynamic, in cluster triggers, there is a very high tendency towards passionate relationships, either hostility or partnership. Clusters have a 40% chance of one member murdering another, rising to a 50% chance when including attempted murder, a 25% chance of a partnership forming, and a 10% incidence of partnership and murder coinciding. The term partnership is used for romantic pairings in instances where sexuality and gender allow, and close friendship or form teams with members in other cases. In some, 10% of, cases of close partnerships forming, the romantic pairing occurred despite one's typical sexuality. The Relationship Entanglement Study looks at existing cases and clusters to investigate why. The most dramatic case in recent memory is the stage, also known as the stable, or the foul and the fair. The good ox was turned into a grisly display. Click here to read the full article. Three of 79 replies match search criteria. Of five. Replied on August 20th, Y1. No article on click. Dana and Evan, student badge. Replied on August 20th, Y1. It wasn't a terribly good one. Doesn't read as a solid study so much as a commentary. I'd give it a pass. The same details are covered in more depth elsewhere. I'll see what I can dig up. Of five. Replied on... August 20th, Y1. Thanks. End of page 1. Click here to view full list of pages. Private message from 17593Q1838H17953R9713E714693. 17593Q183H17953R9713E714693. 974641T17953A820974641 3R17390176R796520. Of five. Huh? Joined group conversation, questionable mammal, heart-shaped pupil. Of five. Got a strange message. Friend says it might be a bot. String of numbers and letters? Questionable mammal. Could be. Of five. Could be S? Questionable mammal. S isn't that bad with computers. Block and move on. By the way, here is search result for you. Private message from... One seven five 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 nine nine three. One seven three three seven one nine three. Had to check. Of five. Huh? One seven three three seven one nine three. If you were one of mine. Of five. I'm gonna do what my friend said and block you if you don't explain. One seven three three seven one nine three. You're clearly looking for info on multis. Of five. Yes, I am. One seven three three seven one nine three. I can provide, we can collaborate, is important to have others to watch your back. Of five. I've found some people. 17337193. Unless you are a member of a very new cluster, limited number of people you can be. I found most of the group at I275. Rest of them wouldn't be searching online like you are. I found two members of the shipwreck group. They might be doing what you're doing with the searching, but they know the code. They're friends of mine. Third member of that group is dead. Lecture hall. If you were one of them, you wouldn't be so naive. 
That leaves three options. The Kansas Cornfield Massacre. Three dead, one alive with no reason to care about multis. He ate the rest of his cluster. Of five. Eight? One, seven, three, three, seven, one, nine, three. The book fair. Only ones still alive there are within spitting distance of me. Eight. I know why, too. I can share, but not for free. Leaves two good options. I can skip one because it's mine. You're part of the new cluster from the mall. Of five. No comment? One, seven, three, three, seven, one, nine, three. I found one of you already. I reached out to him first. He said no. Bad for him, lucky for you. Of five. Lucky? One, seven, three, three, seven, one, nine, three. The one I talked to said there's a woman, two boys, and him. I'm going to assume you're the one I've termed the run. The smallest, easiest target. The woman is gathering funds to hire mercenaries and come after you. The one I talked to hired an information broker to find you. Her name is Tattletail. She's good. She has resources, including the mercenaries I just mentioned. She's also preoccupied for now. A favor from me to you. That leaves you in the last one. It sounds like all three are coordinating versus you. I can just about guarantee the people they're gathering together are better than the ones you got. You need help. You've got a case of kiss kill like I never saw, and I don't think they're reaching for the chapstick. Of five. You're wrong. One, seven, three, three, seven, one, nine, three. About the need for help? Of five. It isn't kiss or kill. I'll take any help I can get, provided I can get some clue you're legit. One seven three three seven one nine three. Glad to hear. Of five, and some idea of what you're really after. One seven three three seven one nine three. You and a chance to deal with some mutual enemies. I'll be in touch. Searched for threads with complex term server and or 15 or more items. Click here to view. With complex term, prosthetic and or. 12 or more items. Click here to view. With complex term, emotion and or. 16 more items. Click here to view. With complex term, acrobatics and or. 9 or more items. Click here to view. Gap allowance of 16 words. Term allowance margin of 0.6969 that were created in the last month, showing only relevant section, preceding paragraph, and following paragraph. One result. Topic. Public Incident Report, August 16th. In Boards, Teams, Gunslingers. Lucky Luke, Hero Badge. Posted on August 16th, Y1. We were ultimately unable to stop him, as they had two capes we had no information or records on. The first of the capes may have been a thinker, likely the same that shot down our flyer. We were unable to glean much more from them, other than the fact that they wore fur in the midst of a heat wave. The second individual seems to be a grab bag cape. She was a woman with a fanged mask covering her lower face, and a form-fitting dress with a slit up one side of the leg. She displayed a mover power, fourth item, with the ability to run on walls. She produced an emotion-affecting, third term, roar, which broke the ranks of one of our cooperating teams, and had metal claws, second term, which looked to be of tinker make. These claws may have been what enabled her to tear, first term not met but with an allowance, down doors and other barricades with the ease she did. We have the beginnings of a workup going online shortly. The attack on the store opening was a failure on our side. We were late to the scene, due to geography, and we lacked the full knowledge of our adversaries. It is our belief that with a PHO in working order and more collaborative tools and measures being put in place every day, that we will succeed next time where we failed this once. We are working with authorities to keep an eye out for the stolen merchandise. Joined Group Conversation Questionable Mammal Heart-Shaped Pupil Cap Of five. Thank you, C. Questionable mammal. I thought that one result looked good. Heart-shaped pupil. Pretty nasty customer. Of five. It is. She is. Heart-shaped pupil. Are you looking after your friend? Of five. Not nearly enough. 
questionable mammal. Did you get the bot thing handled? Of five. Bot thing handled, blocked, and moved on. This woman concerns me. I'll figure out a plan of action later. Heart-shaped pupil. We'll figure out a plan of action later. <laughs> of five. Thanks. And thanks again, C. You're good kids. Heart-shaped pupil. Ah! Cap has joined the chat. Questionable mammal. No personal details online, yeah? Cap. Hmm? Of five. Right. Sorry. Questionable mammal. Nothing big, Cap. Heart-shaped pupil. Go get your friend a thank you treat. Giant heart-shaped cookie! Cap. Subtle. Of five. I don't know about cookies. There's a place to get ice cream. Heart-shaped pupil. Go! Chew! You have left the conversation. Subject. Your Niles University Application. August 21st, Year 1. Dear Applicant, point me at the Sky Mail. We regret to inform you that your application for graduate study in our department was turned down. We look at each application and applicant as a whole, and decisions are based on the composite of information including your previous academic performance, referrals, relevant professional activities, proposed research statements, and test scores. Due to a high volume of applicants, this message has been partially automated. Your application was received by paper and email and discussed by me and one other faculty member. We responded by email as per your preference. We would like to stress, for your particular application, that we would very much like you to apply again in future years, that we would encourage you to use the same email address as we can easily tie it back to this application. We felt your academics were very strong. We felt your extracurriculars were exceptional. We felt your references were exceptional. In a time when records are often lacking and references may be hard to identify or contact, your application stood above and beyond in how complete and thorough it was. Niles is one of three universities serving an estimated population of 50 million on Earth, Gimel, and its associated territories. It is the sole post-secondary institution offering graduate studies. Over one and a half million bright and eager minds have applied to Niles in avid hope of starting or resuming their educations, and, regretfully, with our current facilities, we cannot accept more than 20,000. Although these circumstances mean we must regretfully send you an unfavorable response, we appreciate your application. We wish you the best in your future endeavors and look forward to hearing from you next year. Yours truly, Dr. Marilyn Jinbar, Graduate Advisor. Private Messages from Glitz Glam Glitch glam. Friend said emails out today. Point me at the sky. I got mine this morning. Glitch glam. And? Point me at the sky. Same as last year. Glitch glam. Aww. Point me at the sky. We have completed a review of your application. Paperwork, good. Grades, good. Extracurriculars, good. References? Good. You're perfect. But the world ended two years ago. Sorry. No place for you now. Please apply next year. We'll keep track of your application and the fact you applied last year. We promise. No mention in this year's letter about me applying last year, so I do have my doubts. Glitz glam. Aw, oh, hun. Why, though? My friend got in, and I know his app wasn't as good. Point me at the sky. Why do you think? That's a serious question, by the way. Because I don't know. 
rational part of me thinks high demand program plus only so many grad students allowed in. That part of me outnumbered 14 to 1, though. Glitz glam. Hmm. Hmm. Very specific number. Point me at the sky. I've been thinking about it all day. Made a list. Lots of unreasonable answers that are semi-possible. Sentiment. Reference backstabs me. People with ties to uni staff get in first. Uni tied to government, and government wants specific focus for research. I could go on. I know some of those sound crazy. And all of that? If true, then no reason to think that next year will be different. Last year was a third the number of applicants. They accepted 2.5%. This year, what? 1.4%? Glitz glam. Um... Point me at the sky. Could be multiple of above. Could be none. Enough about me. How's training going? Glitz glam. It's fine. Not important. I'm going to visit as soon as possible. Okay? Point me at the sky. No need to treat me with kid gloves. We all suspected this would happen. Glitz glam. Honestly? We all were saying to temper expectations. But we would wink as we said it. We thought you would get in. Point me at the sky. That doesn't make me feel better. Glitz glam. Have you told everyone? Point me at the sky. No, today I have stuff to do. I work and think. Might go for a long trip before high school semester starts and I get busy with work. Visit home. Share after I get back, I think. Glitz glam. Okay, I'm visiting too. Field exercises today, tomorrow. Team want to meet for drinks on day off. I might take off instead. Home for sure. Maybe you? Point me at the sky. I'm okay. But do me a favor? Glitz glam. Anything. Point me at the sky. If you stop by? I set up tarps by house. Make sure they're still there and no water getting through. Lost cause, maybe. Glitz glam. Can do. You sure you're okay? Point me at the sky. I'm not. But I'm the okay sort of not okay. I've gotten good at effective brooding. Our little parcel of humanity is sprawled haphazardly across 15 plus alternate Earths. Has to be a place for us somewhere, right? Glitz Glen. Right. And speaking of places, I got to take off because my place is to be doing drills. Point me at the sky. Be safe. Say hi to the family for me. I'll drop by soon. You have logged out, questionable cephalopod. Click here to log in. Welcome to the Parahumans online message boards. You are currently logged in, curious cephalopod. You are viewing threads in your curated list. Edit that list here. Thread OP is displayed. Ten comments per page. Unread messages in private message history. Threads and private messages are ordered chronologically. You have one alert about possible admin action. Please click to review and open a conversation with a site administrator about conduct issues. Private conversation with a real admin badge. Please note that conversations with site administrators may be recorded and reviewed. Curious Cephalopod Hello? A real. Hello. Thank you for the prompt response. I'm Sydney. Curious cephalopod. I can guess what this is about. A real. According to our systems, you have 32 individual accounts that you're rotating through. Curious cephalopod. This is true. A real. Is it really needed to have one individual account for each day of the month and one for what I assume are holidays? Curious Cephalopod. Not what I was doing, 
but would be amusing with some reshuffling, assuming it was allowed. I'm guessing you will say it isn't. A real. Duplicate accounts are of concern when it comes to tracking action across accounts. Curious cephalopod. I see. A real. Isn't that a hassle to manage 32 separate accounts? Curious cephalopod. I use a program to copy over settings. A real. I see. Curious cephalopod. I checked TOS. I don't think any of this is against the rules. A real. But why do it? Curious cephalopod. Security, I'm being surveilled. Doing this lets me find out things. A real. Surveilled? Curious cephalopod. Yes. A real. On PHO? Curious cephalopod. If they were stalking me elsewhere and not here, where it's stalker central, then they would be bad at what they do. Edit elsewhere. And they aren't. A real. If you're trying to obfuscate, I have to question why you use a chain of names that connect to one another. Curious cephalopod. I'm not trying to hide, I'm trying to find out things. A real. Do I need to notify authorities? If you're joking, you need to tell me now. Curious cephalopod. That would cause more problems than it fixes. Can we just say I'm joking and you agree and you can tell me what my punishment is? Or what I need to do to fix this issue? A real. I remain concerned. Curious cephalopod. How about this? One second. Curious cephalopod. There, it should be in my user images. A real. Verification underscore four underscore Sydney dot I. I see it. I see. I'm assuming that in a matter of days, if you're an avian of some sort. Curious cephalopod. Insect. Yes, I could supply a different verification image. So can we chalk this up to a peculiarity of mine? Power's weirdness? A real. I'll have to discuss with others. Curious cephalopod. All right. A real. I'm not wholly satisfied with this resolution. Either you were joking about something serious, or you're being cavalier about something serious. Curious cephalopod. Or I'm being watched, and I've been under various kinds of observation for some time. And this isn't that serious. Consider me a curious sort of multi-limbed invertebrate who would be happy to be left alone. Except there's always someone on the other side of the glass, tapping or taking notes. Ears pressed up against the walls, constant whispers. Things moved in my habitat when I'm not looking. A real. I think I have a sense of what you're getting at. Curious cephalopod. And this particular observer is benign. A real. Uh. Curious cephalopod. Software glitch. It doesn't like interruptions. A real. I see. Putting you down as a verified cape with some notes. I'm not going to make this available to anyone looking at your profile unless you want it. Curious cephalopod. I don't. A real. I would like to link all your 32 accounts together. This might take a few hours of fiddling on my end. It would only be info available to us and to you. Curious cephalopod. And to any outside parties with access to my computer? A real. I would avoid letting anyone have that access if possible. Curious cephalopod. That will be fine, and I will try and I'm fine with being linked up. A real. Thank you for cooperating. Have a good day. Topic. Multiversal travel warnings. In boards. Gimmel.us. Kane. Guild staff badge. Posted on August 22nd, Y1. The Guild is presently established in three facilities outside of the city in Gimmel.us. 
supporting authorities and serving as bodyguards and representatives for the one-time denizens of Earth Bet, as new areas are surveyed and contact with new cultures is made. The process is exciting and interesting, and we report back as much as we are able, but it does have its hazards. After two recent incidents, we have decided to reach out to those who we are familiar with who are familiar with us. This forum is one of many places we'll be striving to communicate needs and necessities. Humans are explorers by nature. Our best count right now, excepting areas we cannot fully access, is that portals, devices, and tears between realities are currently allowing access to 47 Earths. Six of those Earths have been blocked off due to implicit threats or are fundamentally inaccessible. Two more have been closed off at the request of their denizens. Earth Aleph, which most Earth Bet residents are or were familiar with, has been blocked off as well. Speak with authorities before making any trips to territories unknown. We don't and can't mount effective rescue operations if someone leaves and fails to return. But we have some ability to do so if and when authorities know where you've gone and you've stuck to the established route. People got lost or stranded in the wilderness on Earth in 2012 with all of that world's satellites. It can and will happen in new universes. Do not travel to inhabited worlds. Absolutely do not make first contact. The first of the two incidents noted above was one where a family traveled across Earth Hamesh and happened across a settlement we were currently talking to. Much confusion and concern was had, and we are still recovering. The second is to please stick to charted territories. Exploring the uncharted is exciting, but if you aren't equipped you can come to harm, even if the world is uninhabited. One ex-Bet government, which shall remain unnamed, sent one expedition to Earth Asha. The Europe of that world was home to an invasive species, which grew as a tubular mold in dark, shadowed spaces, particularly in forest. Eating food exposed to the spores these molds created causes stomach cramps that progress to reflexive vomiting over the course of two to five days. The vomiting then lasts another two to five days, causing death by dehydration for any who don't receive care. Be aware. Earth Gimel has been partially explored and checked by thinkers. There are no guarantees. Except for some rare indigenous colonies, it is unsettled. Gimel has five major points of settlement, with civilization finding its foothold around these points. The city, as of yet unnamed, is the primary U.S. point of settlement and one of the primary waypoints. The city is a megalopolis, with a commonly cited population of 50 million. A rough map, one month out of date, is here. Earth Mem has been partially settled by others from Bet. We are currently trying to establish some kind of communication and link. For novice explorers and those looking to settle new territories, we would encourage Gimel and Mem as largely safe options. Earth Bet has been deemed uninhabitable. Contrary to popular belief, radiation is not a major concern. However, many industrial sites were either destroyed or have weathered the last two years of neglect poorly, with chemicals leaching into groundwater and settling in valleys. Terrible numbers of deceased humans and other living species have led to other health concerns, particularly in previously heavily settled areas that received heavy damage. There will always be those who attempt to hold on to what we have lost and many persist in trying to maintain some existence on bet. However, new incidents arise on what seems to be a weekly or twice-weekly basis, with one in three having to do with powers, the powered, untended tinker technology, masters, and lingering threats. We may one day return to bet, as some groups have fervently expressed a desire to do, but we have a great deal of work to do before this is possible. 
it may not happen in our generation or our children's generation. Be aware that if you choose to return to Bet, and most authorities agree you have the fundamental right to do so, you may have to reapply for entry, and you will very likely be putting your well-being in peril. Speak with authorities before traveling to any other worlds. More information on multiversal threats are linked here. More information to be disclosed about outside threats and cultures as we have it. Showing page 108 of 270. O'Hearn. Replied on August 22nd, Y1. It's about concentration. The fight happened near here. Scion attacked. We don't know why, but it might have had to do with the Slaughterhouse Nine, going by the news reports and what some have said. It might have had to do with the Simurg. It could have been something else altogether. But things wrapped up near here. People came through, and most of us picked two worlds to settle in, with Gimel as the big one. But a lot of people fought. A lot of capes. Many were foreign. The fight ended. And then... We are doing or did our best to get them home, but not all want to go home. Or Sion didn't leave them a home to go back to. A lot of them have gathered into light groups. That's where we get the weird corner world settlements. Venturain replied on August 22nd, Y1. The corner world places aren't inherently bad though, right? We, my family, just got into the city one month ago. Right away, pressure, pressure. We can move into city, but standardized rent and we need to earn wage and we may be asked to move. Best option is to move to city periphery and farm. They say they will give us tools and resources to get started, but good spots are taken or very far away and farming isn't easy. Corner worlds are closer in a way. Go to noon, go to wherever from there. If we aren't reconstruction or farming, we aren't wanted, so why become cogs in the city's machine? We can strike off on our own. Minor risk, but total freedom. Slayer of Isaac. Replied on August 22nd, Y1. Adventure Rain. That was our mindset. My family tried it. We had the bad fortune of settling at one corner settlement. Two points removed. We got off to an okay start. Shelter up, food out, basic needs covered. Regular trips to the city to supply up and cover more advanced needs. Winter of year zero caught us off guard. We thought we were ahead of what we needed, but staying warm gets hard, and getting warm means chopping wood, which means physical effort, which means needing more food. I was handling most trips into the city. I was worn out and got real sick. My brother handled one trip, asked for help, came back with capes. They helped, yeah. Then they took over. It was bad. You can find my photo diary on my user page. My brother went out and asked for help again. The second time around, the capes were willing to fix the problem and leave. Most of us moved back to the city. Bitter feelings. Athonic. Replied on August 22nd, Y1. Venturing. There's a need for other work. Doctors, teachers. There's a need for people that are good at finding and vetting the skilled labor. Finding qualified doctors and getting them to hospitals. Finding teachers and helping to establish new schools. Organization is the hardest part. Many injured, many with special needs. I'm in robotics and prosthetics and there's no shortage of need. My friend is a radiologist, and he's in high demand. Lex Dogbell. Replied on August 22nd, Y1. Many of those things require education. Letters started arriving yesterday. Rejected, rejected, rejected. No education. My friends are saying government is holding off on setting up schools because there is so much need for physical labor, industry, agriculture. Malek. Was Malek. Badge. Replied on August 22nd, Y1. User was banned for this post. Badge changed. Ferris, Cape Dad Badge. Replied on August 22nd, Y1. Right now we don't seem to have many threats at home. Things are quiet. The monsters are out there, if they're even alive. Sleeper is still in Zayn, and seems contained there. The birdcage was abandoned. We don't know if the residents were left to starve. Few of the real monsters seem to be here. The dictators don't have the infrastructure. Our best capes are off doing good work and seeing what's out there. Our capes at home are calm and quiet. I'm okay with that. Fishmon. Replied on August 22nd, Y1. 
Not all of the dictators. Not every place was ruined. There are monsters out there who I will not name out of fear for my safety. They were kept in check back on bed, and nothing holds them back now that much of the world has evacuated. The weather may be bad, but they may not have had industry or other problems to taint things. Things are looking up here, but there I think it may be hellish for citizens. Who can help them? It's difficult. If calamity comes in plague or bugs or rats, then the people suffer, but dictators will not let them escape. I make calls every day. More Guild Badge Replied on August 22nd, Y1 I'm going to reach out to you by direct message, Fishmon. Tell me what you can. End of page 108 out of 270 in this thread. Joined Group Conversation Cap, Heart-Shaped Pupil of Five Mangled Wings Cap, I don't know that much. Mangled Wings, you know some. You are a corporate hero. Heart-Shaped Pupil Share! Don't be shy, winky face. Cap, as a man on the ground in a flashy costume, I was told to do things, and I did them. My mental energy went toward figuring out what I would do when I had discretion. Some of it. Of five, I know what you mean about mental energy. Cap, right? Time management is a nightmare, even without complications. Add family, team drama, having to look good for the cameras and magazines, and I wasn't exactly thinking about upper management. I listened to the boss, and I winked at the intern with the cute butt sometimes. I didn't dwell on the ins and outs. So if you want me to supply info on the ins and outs of how the corporate capes work as a business, I can't. I don't even want to dwell on it. Those were bad times for me. There's a reason I left it behind. Mangled Wings, I hope you can share what you do know at some point. Cap, of course. Heart-shaped people, spending a lot of mental energy lately are... Of five, I might have to go to ground. I may not be able to travel to the next town to use library hookup until our next meeting. I have some indications that some people are after me, more than they were the day before yesterday. Cap, do you need me to come? My brother and I can visit, hang out, offer you some backup. I might not remember much about the nuances of the corp team, but I have pride in my ability in a scrap. Of five, I appreciate that. Cap, it could be fun. You're the closest thing I have to a best friend at the moment, so we might as well hang at some point. Of five. Oof, yes, we get along best out of the group. It would be good in other times, maybe. But I don't know what vectors they can use to attack or track me. This whole thing is a mess. Cap, I'm so glad I don't have to deal with the cluster trigger clusterfuck. Heart-shaped pupil. Amen. Mangled Wings. Agreed. Of five. Easiest if I just drop off the radar for a bit. We can touch base later. I might check in to see if S showed and we can go from there. Otherwise, I see you in a few days. Cap. Help is available if you need it. Heart-shaped people. I was going to say, I'd love to be of help. Of five. I'm safe where I am for now, in a sense. Heart-shaped people. With family? Of five. Mostly. Obviously, not when I'm here. Hard to strike a balance. It's not good times. Mangled wings. My sympathies. Heart-shaped people. Ah! Of five. I really appreciate that, eh? Heart-shaped people. Ah! Curious cephalopod. Please, Kay, let it be. Heart-shaped people. Okay. Smiley face. Cap. See. Good to see you stepping out of the shadows. I wondered if you'd speak up. Curious cephalopod. The shadows are where it's comfortable and safe. Mangled wings. The shadows are where the real monsters lurk. Curious cephalopod. That too, eh? That too. Cap. Why are you curious? Out of curiosity. Heart-shaped people. Doing research? Curious cephalopod. 
Curious in the British sense. Odd. Quirky. Eccentric. I was doing research, as a matter of fact. Mangled wings. On. Curious cephalopod. Figuring out the landscape, looking at maps, where we went to set up. Cap. And? Curious cephalopod. And it feels like the A-listers are busy. Everyone else is in the shadows, waiting for someone else to break the peace and take the hate when they get blamed. The problem is we're so geographically spread out, even if we discount R. Of five. I'm aiming to move into the city. Uh, there's complications. Heart-shaped people. Your friend. Of five. A lot of things. Curious cephalopod. The megalopolis makes for bad logistics. Cap. I do hope you'll step out of those shadows more, see? Well, it's been interesting talking to you online and seeing how talkative you are here. I like what you contribute when you speak up. Curious cephalopod. That's me being an introvert. Cap, that's fixable. Curious cephalopod. I think you badly underestimate my introversion, T. Of five. Okay, hold on. Cap, holding on. Curious cephalopod. Error. 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 You have disconnected from chat. You have reconnected to chat. Of five. As the person who knows Capricorn best, I'm going to step in and say this conversation should end. It's going to end in hurt feelings. Curious cephalopod. My feelings are fine. Of five. Okay. Cap. I'm fine. Of five. Let's end the convo here. We're here to back each other up. Let's be more cautious than not. Cap. Sure. I'm annoyed. But I can take a break. Cap has left the conversation. Of five. I hope I didn't make things awkward. Heart-shaped pupil. It's fine. Made sense. Curious cephalopod. Balances to be struck. Of five. Yeah. Private message from Heart-Shaped Pupil. Heart-Shaped Pupil. She said something nice! Curious Cephalopod. Huh? Heart-Shaped Pupil. A! Curious Cephalopod. Ah. Heart-Shaped Pupil. Good things, good feelings. I'm psyched because this all feels positive. Curious Cephalopod. Maybe. Heart-Shaped Pupil. On the topic of positivity... Curious cephalopod. Did you disconnect? Heart-shaped pupil. So, I was thinking that we should meet in the city. You were talking about logistics, and I was thinking about where everyone was. You're closest to me, and we're the same age, I think. So, I was thinking we could meet and talk strategy over fast food. We could even do something after and build team bonds and things like that. Maybe a movie or arcade, whatever you want to do. No pressure. Sorry. I wrote and rewrote that three times. Curious cephalopod. You mean a date? Heart-shaped pupil. I didn't say a date. Curious cephalopod. But you mean a date. Heart-shaped pupil. Maybe. Sure, springtime of youth and all that pizzazz. Or pre-springtime. Tween time of spring? The thawing of the slush doesn't have the same connotations. Curious cephalopod. I think there are about a hundred different reasons why I should say no to that. Actually, make that two hundred. I legitimately think I could name two hundred reasons why that's a terrible idea. Heart-shaped pupil. Really? Two hundred? Curious cephalopod. The more I think of it, the more reasons I come up with. No, Kay. Heart-shaped pupil. Can I ask why? Curious cephalopod. Because you're you, and I'm me. No, and don't ask again. Heart-shaped pupil. Okay. Can I ask another question? Curious cephalopod. Will I regret saying yes? Heart-shaped pupil. When you were talking to Miss Sydney earlier, you... hinted at a reason for the changing nicks. What was it? Curious cephalopod. Honestly? I wanted to see if you'd get curious enough to reveal yourself.
Welcome to the Parahumans online message boards. You are currently logged in, heart-shaped pupil. You are viewing Private Message Conversations with New Replies Ordered chronologically Note, with your current settings, you may find your homepage to be rather sparse. Consider re-enabling default settings, selecting some general categories, people, teams, locations, or topics to follow, or refine terms to review threads you visited in the past. Connecting to gchat.parahumansonline.treefortlookout. Attempt 20. Resolving host name. Connecting. Connected. Using identity, heart-shaped pupil. Welcome to the Treefort Lookout. A hangout for those 16 and under, with inquisitive minds and an eye on the goings-on around them. Keep conversation focused on sharing info. Other discussion belongs in our Pillow Fort Lazy Talk, or Snow Fort Mission Rooms. Max Dag. Hi, Kenzie. Toxic Fish 216. Heya, wanting to get right to business? Thistle Soup. Hugs. Hi, love. Heart shaped people. Hugs back. Hi, Thistle. Hi, Max. Hi, Tox. No rush on business. I'm starting my day. My own Gren. Hi, Kay. We were talking about stuff just now. There's a bit to catch up on. Dog tooth. Hey, uh, Optics. Good to see you. Hi, Kenzie. What's up? Heart shaped pupil. Hi, Peter. Hi, Megan. Hi, Nep. Not much is up. How are you guys? Does anyone need help with anything? Asnag. I don't think so. We were talking about your stuff, actually. Heart shaped pupil. Neat. I'm getting breakfast, so I'll be a second before I'm settled. Tokta. How are you doing? You said you were feeling down in Pillow Fort last night. Heart shaped pupil. I'm better. I'm ready to start the day. I'm excited at the idea of getting info. Thistle soup. That's good to hear. Mildross, you wanted us to nag you about your punctuation in capitals. Your friend got irritated about it. Flying Kevin. This is the girl that was the ward, right? I'm new, by the way. Heart shaped pupil. I did. Thank you, Mill. I did. I just woke up. I am. Hi, Kevin. Rubs hands together. Get me started. Johnson Jar. Hi, Kay. Smiley face. You wanted us to keep an eye out for your old teammates. Heart shaped pupil. <gasps> Who? Where? Johnson Jar. We found two of them. One second. Heart shaped pupil. <gasps> Who? Johnson Jar. Avon and Houndstooth. Heart shaped pupil. Thank you. Good job. You're awesome. I'm going to go talk to Avon first. Slash away. You have marked yourself as away. Private message sent to Avon G. Avon G. Hmm? Heart shaped people. Hi, Avon. It's Kenzie. Avon G. Oh. Kenzie M? Heart shaped people. That me. I'm not supposed to be sharing out my name and tying it to this account, but. I figure in this context it's okay. You've seen my face, you know my name, you know my powers. I trust you. Avon G. Yeah. Heart-shaped people. I don't want to be a pest. I just wanted to say hi and say I'm glad you're alive. I always thought you were cool. And if you ever want to talk or meet or whatever, you know where I'm at and you can send me a message. Avon G. Okay. No offense, but I probably won't. Heart-shaped people. Okay. Avon G. Sorry. I'm trying to get a fresh start. The wards were pretty good times, but that was then. You and I didn't talk then with the age difference, so it's strange to talk now. Heart-shaped people. It's okay. You were front line and I was back line. You were a teenager, I was the brat. There are lots of reasons, I'm sure, but no is the only one that matters. I wish you the best. Smiley face. Avon G. Thank you. Good luck with whatever you end up doing, Kenzie. Heart shaped people. Slash back. You have marked yourself as back. Welcome back to the Tree Fort Lookout. Talk to. 
How did it go? Heart-shaped pupil. Not great. She didn't want to talk. Talk to. Aw, frowny face. Thistle suit. Hugs. Heart-shaped pupil. Hugs back. Max tag. We've got your back. Heart-shaped pupil. I'm going to talk to the next one. Wish me luck. Slash away. You have marked yourself as away. Dunes. Good luck. Private message sent to Houndstooth. Heart-shaped pupil. Hi, HT. Houndstooth. Hi, Kenzie. I'm in the middle of a conversation with Avi. She said you reached out. Heart-shaped pupil. I'm keeping an eye out for my old teammates. I'm glad you're alive, Houndstooth. Houndstooth. I'm glad you're alive too, Kenzie. What are you up to these days? Heart-shaped pupil. I'm looking at joining a team, kind of. We're still figuring a lot out. It's exciting. They're neat. Houndstooth. That's really good to hear. I've talked to some of the others offline. It made out better than most. The only question mark is 1059, but I'm suspicious they're okay. Heart-shaped pupil. I already found them. They're alive and well. Houndstooth. Did you? Okay, good, great. Then we only lost Pigeonhole, but you knew about them. We made up better than most. Heart-shaped people. It's great. I'm so relieved. I really liked the team. Everyone was so cool. It was an important time for me. Coming back to Baltimore to join the team was the first time I got to stop and settle down. Houndstooth. Yeah. Heart-shaped people. It was home. So... It means a lot to me to hear you say we when talking about us making it out mostly okay. Houndstooth. You know that was then, don't you? Back in the past. Things have changed. Heart-shaped pupil. Uh Uh-huh. Houndstooth. You got a bad deal, Kenzie. Not the worst I've seen, but I've seen a lot of people get better hands than what you got. You tried as hard as anyone. You did really good work. You were a better hero when you were four and a half feet tall than some adult capes I know today. Heart-shaped people. I've heard this speech before, H.T. Variants of it. You gave me a version of it once. You don't have to let me down easy. I'm tough. Just cut to the chase. Houndstooth. I think you shouldn't contact the others. They have their own things to work through. They're rebuilding. Everyone's looking forward. You have a new team. That's great. Heart-shaped people. Huh. Was I really that bad? Houndstooth. You weren't bad, okay? You weren't bad. Heart-shaped people. But? Houndstooth. But. Give me a second to type. Heart-shaped people. H.T. I was ten. I've grown up some. I was there for the end of the world. I did stuff. I actually really helped. Houndstooth. Absolutely. I keep typing responses and deleting them. People are gun-shy. Heart-shaped people. Gun-shy? Of me? Houndstooth. Shit. Now I feel bad. Heart-shaped people. Don't. I'm disappointed is all. Houndstooth. I can't stress enough that I have a lot of respect for you. Heart-shaped people. Thank you. Can you give me one shot, then? Not even as friends. It can be business. I'm useful. You've been praising my work ethic. I'm smart. I have a kind of team. If you do me the favor of giving me a shot, I can do you one favor for free. Houndstooth. I don't know. Heart-shaped pupil. You're a smart guy, and you were a good leader. You know how these things work. You know my power has its uses. Others would kidnap me for it. I am offering myself to you, and you would be stupid to turn me down. Use me. Please. If you respect me so much, then let me prove myself. Houndstooth. Okay. Heart-shaped pupil. Yes? Houndstooth. Sure. Absolutely. I can contact you here. Heart-shaped pupil. Yes. Houndstooth. I will be in touch. Heart-shaped pupil. Okay. Houndstooth. I will also talk to the others. I will leave your contact info with them. If they are comfortable with it, they can reach out to you. Heart-shaped pupil. Got it. I'll cross my fingers. Houndstooth. I have to run. Heart-shaped pupil. Thanks for making the time to talk to me. Houndstooth. Keep up the good work. Bye. Heart-shaped pupil. 
slash back. You have marked yourself as back. Welcome back to the Treefort Lookout. Tokta, how did it go? Is your day looking up? Heart-shaped pupil. The high point of the conversation was toward the end when he said, Don't call us, we'll call you. Tokta, I don't understand. Flying Kevin, question mark. Heart-shaped pupil, it doesn't matter. I'm choosing to view this in a positive light. My day has to get better from here. Tokta, that's positive. Heart-shaped pupil, it is. For now, I need a distraction. Any other news? Max Tag. Tattletail took on a new mission that's taking her to Earth N. She'll be busy for a short while. Heart-shaped pupil. <gasps> Why didn't you tell me sooner? Priorities! Max Tag. I didn't know it was important. Heart-shaped pupil. It is! Information about my new teammates is key. Be right back. Thistle soup. Bye! Heart-shaped pupil. Slash away. You have marked yourself as away. Joined group conversation. Cap. Mangled wings. Away. Weird cephalopod. Heart-shaped pupil. Was R around? Weird cephalopod has left the conversation. Heart-shaped pupil. Bye, C. Rar. K is here. Everyone run away! Cap. R left. He dropped off the grid. Heart-shaped pupil. Arrgh. Cap. C was saying he had to go get lunch soon. I think that's why he left. He's eating, too. She's practically living in library now, I think. She has to leave it to eat. Heart-shaped pupil. Okay. It's good that she's there. Good to learn and study. Cap. Why? Heart-shaped pupil. Tattletail is out of town. They probably won't attack without her around to act. There is a reprieve. I got some info on her late last night, too. Cap. That's great. Hopefully he swings by the library and we can let him know. Heart-shaped pupil. Great. Cap. It's quiet today. Lazy Sunday. How are you doing? Heart-shaped pupil. Today has been... interesting. I'm looking forward to S getting here and to the next meet. Cap. Agreed. On the first two parts. Partial agree on the last. I think we're gonna get yelled at. Heart-shaped pupil. I cannot imagine that. Cap. Shoot. Would love to chat, but I'm being asked to go to church. Heart-shaped pupil. At noon? Cap. Family's asking. Church gets overcrowded these days, so we tend during certain blocks of time. You and me. We talk later, yeah? Heart-shaped people, for sure. Cap. Good work on the tattletale info. Strategy will be so key if R ends up in trouble. You a champ. Heart-shaped people, not a problem. Cap. Sorry to duck and run. Heart-shaped people. Go, you dork. It's okay. Cap has left the conversation. Heart-shaped people. Slash twiddle thumbs. Twiddle thumbs. Unknown command. Heart-shaped people. Yeah. You have left the conversation. Heart-shaped people. Slash back. You have marked yourself as back. Welcome back to the Tree Fort Lookout. Heart-shaped people. Hit me with some more of that business. Max Tag. Hi, Kenzie. You said teammate-related things were important. Heart-shaped people. Yes? You have more? Max Tag. I'm not sure. It's minor, but you said it was related to two of your teammates. Weld is back. Article here. Heart-shaped people. Oh. He was away? The people I tell about it are away for lunch. Max Tag. I don't follow. Heart-shaped people. It's okay. You currently have one alert about possible admin action. Please click to review and open a conversation with a site administrator about conduct issues. Heart-shaped people. <laughs> XD. Dunes. What's so funny? Huh? Flying Kevin. I don't understand. Heart-shaped people. Today has been quite a day. I'm having a run of bad luck. Admins want to talk to me, and I think I know why. <laughs> Dunes. Good luck. Heart-shaped people. Can I get a bit of a hug, Thistle? Thistle soup. Hugs. Heart-shaped people. You're the best. Slash away. You have marked yourself as away. 
Private Conversation with Shower, Admin Badge. Please note that conversations with site administrators may be recorded and reviewed. Shower, I'd like a moment if you can spare it. Heart-shaped people, hello? Shower, thank you for the prompt response. I'm Graham. I'm with the PHO IT team. You can call me by my name or just Shower. Heart-shaped people, hi Shower. What can I do for you? Shower, we had some unusual search activity that seemed to be causing congestion. Would you happen to know anything about this? Heart-shaped people. I might. It would have been during off-peak hours, though. Shower. We update infrastructure during off-peak hours. It slowed us down. It stalled us for three hours last night. Heart-shaped people. Oh, that's not good. Shower. You're piggybacking off our servers? Heart-shaped people. I was trying to help. We've been updating the wikis as much as we can, and three-fifths of the work is gathering data that's helpful to others. Shower. We? Heart-shaped people. It was a stupid hobby project. I was thinking of what everyone wanted the most, and information seemed most critical. I had some guys I knew from way before, and I thought I'd get everyone up to date and on the same page. Shower. We often encourage hobby projects on PHO, though we cannot when resources are as tight as they are, and it would depend on scale and the amount of mess created. How easy is this to dismantle? And do I need to talk to anyone else? Heart-shaped people. Nobody else. It was me alone. I can fix it right now. How bad of a problem is this? Is there any leeway? Shower. It's interfering with others' ability to access things. It might not seem like a problem here because you're close to the home node, but there are people on the periphery or far-flung regions, and they're going from satellite to ground to satellite to here across several Earths. I think it's best if you clean up as much of it as you can. I think that since you're a chat member in good standing, we'd be willing to let this slide with a warning if it can be promptly dealt with without any mess. Heart-shaped people. I'll have to reboot. Shower. I'll talk to you shortly. You have left the conversation. Connecting to gchat.parahumansonline.treefortlookout Attempt 32 Resolving host name Connecting Connected Using identity heart-shaped pupil Welcome to the Treefort Lookout A hangout for those 16 and under with inquisitive minds and an eye on the goings-on around them Keep conversation focused on sharing info other discussion belongs in our Pillow Fort Lazy Talk, or Snow Fort Mission Rooms. Toxic Fish 216 Heya, wanting to get right to business? Max Tag Hi, Kenzie Thistle Soup Hugs Hi, love My own Gren Hi, Kay We were talking about stuff while you were disconnected. There's only a little to catch up on. Tokta How are you doing? You sounded positive the last time I asked. Heart-shaped pupil. Yeah, right to business. Johnson Jaw. What do you need? Heart-shaped pupil. I need everyone to be quiet. You have been auto-set to away, as you have been idle for five minutes. Heart-shaped pupil. Slash kill toxic fish 216. You are no longer set to away. Toxic fish 216. Business or pleasure bot disconnecting. Toxic Fish has left the conversation. Heart-shaped people. Slash kill Max Tag. Max Tag. Mission Bot 1. Disconnecting. Max Tag has left the conversation. Heart-shaped people. Slash kill Johnson Jar. Johnson Jar. Mission Bot 2. Disconnecting. Johnson Jar has left the conversation. Heart-shaped people. Slash kill my own Gren. My own Gren. News amount bot disconnecting. My own Gren has left the conversation. Heart shaped people slash kill dog tooth. Dog tooth HT bot disconnecting. Dog tooth has left the conversation. Heart shaped people slash kill magnep. Casual convo bot disconnecting. Magnep has left the conversation. Heart shaped people slash kill flying Kevin. Flying Kevin. Instance new guy bot disconnecting. 
Flying Kevin has left the conversation. Heart-shaped people slash kill TMI mom. TMI mom. Delayed new guy bot disconnecting. TMI mom has left the conversation. Heart-shaped people. Thistle, can I ask for something? Thistle soup. You don't even need to ask, love. Shower. Admin badge has joined the conversation. Thistle soup. Big hugs. Shower. I thought you might be dealing with the problem, or is it dealt with? Heart-shaped people. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I'm dealing. Thistle soup. Do you want another? Heart-shaped people. Be quiet, Thistle. Shower. Are they AI? Heart-shaped people. Haha, <laughs> no. They're as dumb as dog farts. Trigger phrases or phrases a set time after login. Different thoughts for different tasks. I've taken care of some of the most problematic. I'll clean up the ones that are here for appearances. I wanted to see if I could make them just realistic enough to fool anyone who accidentally stumbled in. Slash kill Thistle Soup. Thistle Soup. Hugbot disconnecting. Thistle Soup has left the conversation. Shower. I see. I don't know if I was here long enough to be fooled, but I'm definitely confused. You're sure they're not AI? Heart-shaped people. If they were AI, I could be a potential S-class threat. I'm just really lame. It's hobby programming, not my focus or specialty. Slash kill Dunes. Dunes. Luckbot disconnecting. Dunes has left the conversation. Shower. I'll leave you to it, unless there's something I can help you with. Heart-shaped people. I built a server to manage any CPU load from the more complicated search bots. Can I donate it or something? Shower. You built a server? Heart-shaped people. I emulated what you guys run and set it up intermediary. Shower. I don't even think that's possible. But it might explain some of the other things we've had go wrong, actually. No, we'll need you to shut it down. Heart-shaped people. You can have it. It's probably better than what you have. Shower. Absolutely not. The security issues with that would be horrendous. It would allow snooping, spoofing, no. Take it down ASAP. Heart-shaped pupil. ASAP. Got it. Shower. We'll talk before the day is out. I need to make sure we have a handle on everything involved here. Shower has left the conversation. Heart-shaped pupil. Okay, then. You have been auto-set to away, as you have been idle for five minutes. Executioner 404 has joined the conversation. Executioner 404, slash kill Goatfish. Goatfish. WIP Catbot is disconnecting. Goatfish has left the conversation. Executioner 404, slash kill Shameful Manatee. Shameful Manatee. WIP Chrisbot is disconnected. Shameful Manatee has left the conversation. You have set the topic to dot. Executioner 404 slash kill A, V, and B. You have set the room name to chat 114. You have cleared the chat logs. You have left the conversation. Private message from Mangled Wings. Mangled Wings. I have a question. Are you busy? Heart-shaped people, staring at a blank screen. What's the question? Mangled wings. I've been called Queen Dark twice and King Dark once. Heart-shaped people. Oh. Mangled wings. What does it mean? There are no dictionary websites that explain. I searched, and I keep seeing the same paragraph. Heart-shaped people. The paragraph is a paste. Queen Dark is a mean joke. Mangled wings. They mock me? Heart-shaped people. I'm sorry. You've gone quiet. You shouldn't reply to them, you know. You're still quiet. I don't think the internet suits you, eh? I think you are beautiful and stunning and terrifying in person. In a good way, I think. Because you and I are on the same side. Your voice doesn't translate well. I think you're intimidating, and you want to be intimidating on the internet, and that doesn't work at all. C is the intimidating one here, somehow. 
He has that knack, that atmosphere, that skill. Mangled wings. C is heart shaped people. Funny, isn't it? Mangled wings. I think I hate the internet to the very center of my being. Heart shaped people. If you think about it, with powers and all, the center of your being could include the vast monster in another dimension that's all hooked up into you. Passenger stuff. The center of mass could be in the middle of an alien god monster the size of a mountain or moon. I imagine it has the energy of a small star stored in it. Mangled wings. This serves to illustrate the death and energy of my hate for a setting where C might be more intimidating than I am. Heart shaped people. I think I might agree with you on the hate thing. I want to meet face to face and hang out with S and U and maybe C and definitely Cap and R. I want that to work out. If that fails, I don't know. Mangled wings. You don't know? I thought we had the deal. Heart shaped people. I wasn't sure if you were being serious. Mangled wings. I am always serious. We'll handle this project. I'll aim to learn all I can. When or if it falls through, I'll be an independent villain again. I aim to be a successful one. Heart shaped people. Yeah. Mangled wings. You'll work for me. I'll pay you, of course. Heart shaped people. Hmm. Mangled wings. What? Heart shaped people. People run scared from me. It seems even non people run from me if I pay attention to what happened in the last hour. You aren't running. Mangled wings. I don't scare. The world is filled with blithering idiots. More are only blither, and more are silent idiots. You're the exception. If you'll work for me, then I'll damn well make good use of you. I'll incentivize you to stay around. Heart shaped people. Okay. You're one of the cooler people I know. You know? Mangled wings. See? Not a blithering idiot. Subject PHO Technical Assistance. August 24th, Y1. After discussion among the moderation team, we have agreed to allow the name change. As we discussed in the Tech Help chat, our primary concern in these situations is an abuse of the system or a lack of accountability. This being said, your account is in good standing and you've agreed to a probationary status. Your in account email, curated lists, private messages, badges, and accesses will remain intact, as will your forum account's connection to your wiki contributions. Let us know if there is anything else we can help you with. Graham at PHO. Subject Re PHO Technical Assistance. August 24th. Why one? Thank you so much. I am having another problem. I've been getting caught up on my PMs, DMs, and emails, and there is a lot of abusive content. All of the recent messages are very hostile or vulgar. It seems to have started before I even signed back on. I don't know why. I'm so sorry to raise problems when I'm probationary. Subject Re Re PHO Technical Assistance. August 24th, Y1. Graham here. I looked at the incident log and found one major incident that another site admin handled. An article came out here. Two groups online identified the people in that article and shared out their screen names and other information. We took action when people used PHO resources, direct messages, email, to harass one of the individuals in the article. We took action and removed them, but they may be returning with the use of new accounts and expanding the number of people targeted. If you could report any or all of those involved, it would help us a great deal. For solutions, I can think of three options. You can continue to report so we can continue to take action, as these are not the people we want on PHO, and we can hope this quiets down. You can move to a new account and start fresh, or you can agree to give PHO staff access to your private messages so we can take action. This would involve us reading anything private in the conversations, and it would mean anyone messaging you was notified that PHO staff can read your things. We would limit this to only recent and new senders, so your friends and pre-existing conversation partners would stay private. As a bonus, the notification could help stem the influx. Graham with PHO. Subject Re Re 
Re PHO Technical Assistance. August 24th, Y1. I'm not comfortable giving you access as I might receive sensitive or personal messages, and I would want to. I'll report what I can. Welcome to the Parahumans Online Message Boards. You are currently logged in, Space Squid. You are viewing Threads in your curated list. Edit that list here. Thread OP is displayed. Ten comments per page. Unread messages in private message history. Threads and private messages are ordered chronologically. Private message from Anonymous EDT 103. Anonymous EDT 103. You're not one of us and you'll never be. User has been reported. We'll look into it soon. Thank you. Topic. Article. Weld to Warden. In. Boards. News. Events. Gimmel.us. Balchan. Posted on August 23rd, Y1. Article text. Editorial. His list of credentials starts off good. A two-year tenure as a member of the Boston wards with no offences or misconduct reported to the media. He was the third monstrous cape to feature as an actor on a television show, the first to make a second appearance on TV, and the first monstrous cape with an on-screen kiss. He was the subject of a viral online image, released with various humorous captions. And it was a combination of this, and arguably his small network television appearances, that gave him his popularity. He rode this success to a position as the first monstrous cape to be the team leader of the wards. Ambitious fellow, isn't he? A world's popularity and time in the spotlight made him a figure of interest when, following undisclosed events in Brockton Bay, he turned from the established heroes and brought the vast majority of the monstrous capes and the protectorate and wards with him. Speculation flew as to why, and Weld was cagey when asked. No comment, the teenager said. A Weld's team was dubbed the Irregulars, in a play on the term for unconventional military squadrons and on the team being wholly made up of monstrous capes. At this stage, it was still possible to praise Weld for his efforts. He reached out to monstrous parahumans, both American and international, and he kept his team together whilst carrying out deeds for the camera. Maintaining a group of such size isn't an easy task when its numbers are swelling like his groups did. He wasn't too open about his methods or his team's motivations. Things take an ugly turn from here. When Cavalier announced that the PRT was mending its ways and that the person at the heart of the organisation's corruption had been defeated, Weld's irregular team of monstrous capes kept away and kept silent. Heroes called for unity. The suits answered that call, sending many members to America to serve following a schism of their own. Even the defeat of Behemoth or the appearance of the new Endbringers didn't serve to bring Weld back into the fold. If anything, Weld seemed to note that his team's numbers were dropping. He and the monstrous cape serving under him stopped making as many public appearances. And we don't know what he started doing at this time, but his team was still recruiting. No comment, Weld said. It's telling, too, that Weld's appearance changed. He decorated himself with horns and scales, to those with an eye for the symbolic, Weld was a monstrous cape who was embracing the monster and turning his back on the cape side of things. More time passed and more silence followed. No comment, he said, on a rare occasions when he appeared in front of the cameras. No comment. On that Thursday, June 20th, 2013, Sion took our world from us. He took almost everything from us. Based on our limited accounts of what happened, Weld was there for the initial foray, an organised series of attacks mounted from an oil rig. He was not there after, leading a substantial portion of his team to other venues. There's no indication of what he was doing, but we do know he wasn't there for the skirmishes on other worlds against other major organised groups of parahumans. We do know he wasn't there for the follow-up confrontation on the beachhead. 
Many will argue it was a chaotic time. No reports are wholly accurate. The world was ending, and the number of parahumans fighting was no doubt mind-boggling. Why make a point of this in particular? To start with, today was the day Weld returned to Gimmel after some time elsewhere. We've been told he was doing a combination of work in Earth Bet and spending some time touring other worlds in the company of the mass murderer codenamed Garot, and a pair of unnamed capes the two were friendly with. He was extended an offer to join the Wardens as a leader of one of the group's cells, and he accepted. People are applauding, it seems. Weld led a rather formidable team of monstrous capes away from the field of battle, at that critical point in our recent history. He came back practically alone, his team gone. He's tight-lipped as to why. His wards team didn't do very well either, for the record. We haven't heard the full story from him there either. He claimed he didn't want to disparage his former employer, and that they were still on positive terms. Does he deserve the position? Is he trustworthy? Is he even that good of a cape or leader? I'll remind you of two of his favourite words while you mull over those questions. No comment. Showing page 313 of 313. Which MLJ replied on August 23rd, Y1. Nobody's saying why things happened like they did. Some are hinting at it, though. A lot are hinting at it. Conspiracy of silence. Weld seems to know things, and like the article says, he's keeping his mouth shut. It's his right to keep quiet. It's our right to say he's an asshole for doing it. Capricorn, Hero Badge, replied on August 23rd, Y1. Guys, guys, guys. This is a hit piece, and it's a bad one at that. Full disclosure, I know Weld some. He was and is one of my favorite people. But come the fuck on. Everyone has a motivation driving them. Skimming through the comments on this article makes that very clear. Yes, absolutely wonder at Weld's motivations. Wonder about everyone's. Wonder about the people who are pushing hard for moving forward and about the people who want to go back to the way things were. Wonder about the person who wrote this article, and why he has the focus he does. But don't make the mistake of focusing so much in the question marks that you forget about the other punctuation marks. And if someone shows you who they are, then believe them. Weld's teammates in Boston and Brockton Bay only had nice things to say about him. Period. Weld did charity work with kids he definitely didn't have to do. Period. Weld served as team leader for a city in need and he kept his wards alive through the Slaughterhouse Nine and God knows what else. Exclamation mark. Weld has never shown himself to be anything but decent. If you're filling in the blanks or raising questions, then take your cue from that, first and foremost. Tidren. Replied on August 23rd, Y1. Silence isn't an option. Things are heating up. People are scared, and we're scared for a justifiable reason. Powers came out, and we started seeing broken powers. People with mutations, people with no off switch, monsters who needed to be quarantined, and bringers. Now, we've got a different kind of broken power. It keeps getting worse. It gets worse in a linear and steady way. These things follow from one another. There is a visible pattern, and there is a sense to be made of things. The new broken powers follow from the people made monstrous by their powers. If Weld knows something, we have to ask. We have no authorities. We have no system of government. We have no national cape team or licensed heroes. We can't even agree on a name for Gimel's megalopolis. We can discuss all day, but at some point, we need to make decisions. We need to say we deserve to know, and if you won't tell us, then no. You can't represent us, and no, we won't trust you to have our back. F. Flash. Replied on August 23rd, Y1. At Capricorn, I think you have some bias you're not admitting to here. You disappeared too, 
didn't you? You left Reach and disappeared. A couple of your old teammates are saying they're thinking about joining the Attendant, and you're not included in that. Why? Are we supposed to use your metrics to evaluate you? Go by the face you presented to the public? I think I'd rather read between the lines. Your old team doesn't want you for a reason. A Tolo. Replied on August 23rd, Y1. Thousands of millions of human beings died or have yet to make their way to us. Thousands of millions. Thousands of millions of humans with families. Mothers and fathers. Good days and bad days. I say thousands of millions instead of billions, because billions barely sounds different from millions, and I think the zeros drive it home. The city is as big as it is because we were lucky. We only lost about half of those close to us in the northeast U.S. Refugees of Earth Shin say a parahuman took over their Earth a decade ago. One woman. She went back home to continue ruling them. There is a world not far from us which is at constant war. There are tears in reality they can use to reach us, and they have a lot of incentive to do so. They have parahumans, too. There is a theocratic state, which is more distant, but they have some parahumans, too. There is a world of monsters, like Weld and his Irregulars. There are others. Smaller. There are probably others who we haven't been told about. Every week, we get a handful of reports of people triggering with broken powers. They burn bright and burn fast, and they do a lot of damage. On the smallest level, we are quiet and still because we are afraid to disturb the peace. But on the big level, our new neighbors aren't focused 100% on us. We're important. We're a powerful few, even though we lost thousands of millions. The Tyrant Queen is looking at us, but also watching over her shoulder for the War World, and the monsters, and the broken triggers. The War World is wanting to venture out, but maybe an expedition is hard to field, and they get broken triggers too. They're getting more regular triggers. The truce will break, both on the small level and the big. We are hurting from the loss of thousands of millions, and we are only just now reaching the point where we need to make decisions. What do we call ourselves? What direction do we go? Do we move forward or backward? Like I said, we are smaller in number than we should be. We're hurting. We're distracted and scattered. But I think we have the most powers at our disposal. That's important. And I think we're best equipped to have the answers when others come asking. I think that's the most important thing by far. They are going to ask, and we are going to want to have answers to offer them. I think we need people to start telling instead of hinting. Information is the most valuable resource at all. Yipper. Replied on August 23rd, Y1. Information is also more volatile than oil, nitro, or nuclear material. Look at the secret identity leaks going on in this thread. Targeted harassment of Weld and others? If hundreds or thousands agree to keep quiet about things, then maybe there's a reason. Let's not turn into a rabid mob. Space Squid Replied on August 23rd, Y1 Humanity has seen its worst test yet, and it came out the other side. I'd like to draw a comparison. I've read some of these pages, and I see an effort to make us out to be the enemy. The monstrous capes are this mysterious thing, and some of us are made out to know things that we aren't saying. I can tell you who we are. Just like you, we're scarred. We were hurt very badly and altered very dramatically, and we didn't get to know why. We desperately wanted answers because our histories, friends, and families were taken from us. We were forced out of our homes and thrust into a strange place, and many of us were left desperate or dangerous, just like some of you. We learned some partial truths, and that made things worse. Then, after a long time and a lot of pain, we learn most of the rest of the truth. I won't pretend it's easy. I struggled every day and then I struggled more after the end of the world. But we fought a hard fight whether it was to save the world or to get to safety or to climb out of dark, angry depths. We came out the other side. Every day we survive is a day we can say I was that strong, so I can definitely survive this. Replace I with we, because we are all together in this. I don't know if that will work for you, but it helped me. End of page 313 of 313. Topic, help, in, boards, groups, C-53, K-1.
KCFO8, posted on August 23rd, Y1. I would like to thank you all for reading this. I was invited to post here by Quasi after I posted in some other places. Quasi has been talking to me and reassuring me. I remember hearing about the monster heroes, and I never paid much attention to them. Now I think I am one. My name is Casey Forks, and I would be starting high school this fall if things hadn't gone bad. My mom hasn't been well for a long time, and my brother has the same condition, so we decided to stick it out and weather things. We had a shelter and we had some food. My dad and I went to stores and raided them for more foods that would last and we stocked up. The shelter didn't work out. We all got headaches and dad said the air filters weren't sufficient. We went upstairs into the house and sealed all the gaps, and Dad tried to fix up the filters. Long story short, that didn't work out either. I should have tried to get somewhere safe, but I stayed. I shouldn't have stayed. I didn't think enough about monster capes or about those with powers, but now I am both. Maybe I am not Casey anymore. I am frozen like the dead people who have lying on the ground for the years since the world ended, like a mummy without bandages. Mold grows on me and grows around me and it covers everything I can see and think about. I am a god of death and decay and I am an open fridge door with mold growing inside it and spilling out. With every passing day and hour and minute, I am less like KCSE and more a god of gross fridge stuff. My world of mold gets bigger every moment. I grew mold on my dad's body and I could make him move. I grew mold on his brain and I got him to think, and with his thinking I finally got the generator and the router and the phones working. It helped that I grew mold on the pieces and parts. Now I am making my sister type because I cannot move any part of me a millimeter and I am asking heroes for help. I am internet famous and there are articles written about my situation so that gives me some hope. But more importantly I am trying not to lose my mind. Quasi is helping me with that, and he said you all would help by sharing your stories. I am so scared that the heroes won't save me, but I am just as scared they'll save me, but they won't be able to fix me. I am scared that I won't be able to move. I am scared I won't be able to hug a pretty girl or lie next to her in bed. I never cared about the rude stuff that much. I thought the cuddling would be the nicest part. I want to see the world through eyes that aren't moldy, and to take a deep breath and scream or even laugh. I want to play soccer again with all my friends there, and I want my parents to be there and be proud. Tell me I'll be okay. Showing page three of three. KCF08 replied on August 23rd, Y1. Thank you. Thank you for your words. They give me hope. Engel replied on August 23rd, Y1. Be strong, brother. With powers, all things are possible. Through trauma and struggle, we find ourselves so much stronger. It takes time to adjust, and it takes time and effort to find the right keys to the right locks. With help, and you have so much help, clocks can be turned back and flesh can be reshaped. We killed a god, and the worst is behind us. Slowly but surely, we'll put the pieces back together. If I do not believe this 100%, then I will not be here to write this message to you. Be strong. KCF08 replied on August 23rd, Y1. I am trying. Thank you all so much. Space Squid replied on August 23rd, Y1. I read some of your old posts, Casey. When you fractured your ankle playing soccer, you were so worried you would never play again, but you got there. When powers are involved, the lows are so much lower, but the highs are high enough to make it all so very worth it. You are funny, smart, and cool, and people wouldn't be rooting for you if you weren't. Your fears echo mine when I realized what had happened to me. I worried I would never have control or have a boy next to me or anything else. I can tell you it is possible. Fishy, board admin badge, replied on August 23rd, Y1. Thread locked. Article with details and wrap-up here. Casey has been added to the names thread here. We won't tolerate objections on the matter. He was close enough to being one of us. End of page three of three. Private message from Whippersnap. Whippersnap.
I saw you in the Casey thread. You had your name changed, but you did a bad job of covering up the change. Space Squid. I didn't cover it up. The old name was a lark at a time I need to laugh, but I'm done with it. It's embarrassing now. Whippersnap. Some of us were talking in the chat, and we agree you weren't an ally in the end. Space Squid. I see. Whippersnap. Egg was only one to come back from there. He said you and Welt stopped us from getting justice. Space Squid. The messages I got, they weren't from angry civilians, they were from you? Whippersnap. From us. Space Squid. Okay, no need to worry then. I won't come back. I wish you all the best. Whippersnap. Fuck you! Space Squid. You should know I killed her. The one who did this. Whippersnap. You stopped us from getting our justice and took it for yourself. Space Squid. I guess so. You have left the conversation. Subject. PHO Technical Assistance. August 24th. Why one? Hi, Graham. Space Squid here. I hate to be a pain. I'd like to ask if it's okay if I just deleted my account and started fresh. Joined group conversation. Cap. Mangled wings. Weird insect. Of five. Heart-shaped pupil. Cap. Pisses me off. Of five. It's the way it goes. He's a tough guy. He can roll with it. Heart-shaped people. S! Mangled wings. Hi, S. Kraken in a jar. Hi. Heart-shaped people. Ah! Yes! Kraken in a jar. Hugs Kenzie to get her to stop wiggling. Heart-shaped people. Dies. Weird insect. Jeez, Kay, that's not funny. We're using short-form names, by the way, S. Kraken in a jar. Oh, I see. I don't really see the point, but okay. Heart-shaped people. Sorry. Kraken in a jar. It's okay. It put a smile on my face, Kay. Of five. Here we are. It's really good to see you, S. Keyboard got? Kraken in a jar. I got my fancy keyboard. Everything fine-tuned. Saw the worlds, spent time with my favorite person. Cap. Speaking of. Kraken in a jar. It's okay, he's tough. Thank you for rooting for him. It meant a lot to see your name there. I see the anger and the agitation, and I think really people are not complaining about what they are complaining about. Cap. How's Weld doing? Kraken in a jar. He's good. Hard to tell sometimes because he is so strong. Emotionally, he busy, but good. New position means a lot, even if I can't go with him. Heart-shaped pupil, you're with us. Kraken in a jar, absolutely. Cap, things are stirring. World is about to shift. We ride the wave. Weird insect. We have work to do first. Organization to do. Things to figure out. Cap. He's so different online. Of five. Don't start, Cap. Kraken in a jar. Did I miss much? Of five. Someone put a hit out on me. That's fun. Kraken in a jar. Huh? Of five. It's no big deal. Nothing is happening just yet. You've been gone for five days? Kraken in a jar. Five days. Wild left to go talk to people and brought me with. We had to wait for keyboard order, so we got a boat and permission and went looking. Tried to find my place of birth. No luck, but was some of the best days of my life. Cap. I'll take that as a challenge. See if we can't top your boat trip. Kraken in a jar. You didn't make any major decisions? Weird insect. No. We wanted to wait for everyone. Cap saw you online and figured it was you. He got a hold of R, and I made sure the others stuck around. Heart-shaped people. I wouldn't have let them either, for the record. You're one of my favorite people. Kraken in a jar. Thank you, C. Hugs K. Heart-shaped people. Dies. Kraken in a jar. It means a lot to me. 
Mangled wings. Strength in numbers. Kraken in a jar. Not in numbers. I don't think so. I think it's strength and difference. We all stand at different angles and places, see things differently. We can support one another and hold each other up because of that. But we have commonalities. A and me, K and me, K and C, R and B. Weird insect. T and A. Of five. Ha ha. Heart-shaped pupil. <gasps> Cap. Oh my god, C. You can't go being funny like that. You're not allowed. Heart-shaped pupil. I'll PM you to explain, eh? Mangled wings. No need. I didn't think it's funny. Weird insect. Thank you, A. It was a lame, lame joke. Rest of you don't laugh too much or I am going to quit. Kraken in a jar. We're doing this because we work together. Of five. It's been weird not having you around, S. I think the balance is definitely something we need to keep an eye on. Cracking in a jar. Balance, 100%. We represent the lead we want others to follow. Stability. Cap. Yeah. Cracking in a jar. Strength. Mangled wings. Absolutely. Cracking in a jar. Cooperation. Of five. Yep. Cracking in a jar. And honesty, and good health, and kindness, and moving forward, and all of that junk. I feel really awkward now because people keep saying yes, and now there are expectations, and I feel like there's an order to it. Weird insect. All that junk, yes. Heart-shaped people. Don't feel awkward, no expectations. Well, some. But it's good. We should have you be leader for this project and do the speeches. Kraken in a jar. I'm not a leader. Let me think on the speeches, and I'm really tired of pulling on these knobs, especially after all the travel. I think I'm going to get myself free and find another. Weird insect. Nobody say it. Heart-shaped people. Another knob? Weird insect. Damn it, Kay. Kraken in a jar. He's definitely not a knob. I'll probably see you all online at some point. If I don't, I'll see you all at the next meeting. Soon. Mangled wings. Soon. You have four unread private messages from an anonymous account. Click here to read. Private messages from Anonymous Sender. Your account settings permit anonymous messages. These messages work like collect calls, review what was sent, and accept or decline. Anonymous. Old message. Hi. I think we talked a few times a while ago and I wanted to ask something. I'm... I'm not sure if I'm DMing the right person or if I got punctuation wrong. Last time we talked was years ago when you did the photo shoot. I feel... really lost. I have questions, but I don't know who to ask. I thought of you, and I hope I'm not bothering you or getting the wrong person. I really need some advice or perspective. I sent message anonymously, so if I'm wrong or if I'm bothering you, you can refuse. Point me at the sky. That's me. I barely remember the photo shoot. That was a busy time for me. Sorry for late reply. I had work to do for coming semester. If you need advice, I can try to give it. I will say that I keep putting myself in a position to give advice, and I may not be the best person to give it. Can you make a regular account and message me? I keep getting notifications because you're anonymous. Private messages from Flippin' Mad. Flippin' Mad. Hi. Point me at the sky. Hi. How can I help? Flippin' mad. Thank you. I've been thinking about things for a long time, and I've been digging for info and answers and trying to put it all together. It's hard because people don't want to talk about things, and a lot of people don't want to talk to me in particular. People get upset. Point me at the sky. The world ended. It's kind of upsetting. Flippin' mad. I know. I know. You were there? Point me at the sky. We were all there towards the end. 
very few exceptions. Flippin' mad. Thousands of capes were there, and nobody wants to talk about the specifics. Point me at the sky. The answer will come out in time. It may already be out there in places. Communication is limited. Pockets of humanity are spread out, and the people who have a say in getting info from City A to City B are probably wanting to keep things peaceable for now. Government, or what we have that passes for government, PHO, and the 12-ish other online bodies, they control info. But they can't stop word of mouth. Not easily. We will hear the full story one day. I don't know if it will be a good day, but we will hear it. Flippin' mad. Okay. I'm stressing about it, so I'm not sure if I can wait. Can I ask questions and you can decide if you want to say or not? Point me at the sky. You can ask. I can't promise any answers. Flippin' mad. Thank you. Did you know Skitter? Weaver, I guess. Point me at the sky. I didn't know her. Not really. We cross paths. Flippin' mad. She's one of the people I ask people about and they get mad or defensive, or they tell me they have something to do and never get back to me. Point me at the sky. Yup. Flippin' mad. Why? Point me at the sky. Short answer? I can't slash won't say. Flippin' mad. Okay. Point me at the sky. Longer answer. I don't know how things unfolded, but I think people fall into types and categories. I don't know enough to say one way or the other, but I think she was looking for something. Flippin' mad. I don't know if I understand. Point me at the sky. You seen the video stuff? She hurt someone you know? Flippin' mad. I tried to find everything I could get. I've seen the cell phone movie from the cafeteria. I saw a few, not just the big one that was on the news. Then I went back to find other news and footage. Then I followed along. Her joining the heroes and later with her talking to school kids, but there wasn't much good video with that second one. I saw the movie of her in New Delhi and I saw her on TV here and there. She hurt people I care about, I guess. That's not why I'm asking. Point me at the sky. I've seen the same. I saw her as the novice warlord. She hurt an awful lot of people. A crazy lot. She killed one of her best heroes. She also joined the Leviathan fight. She apparently helped against the S9. She joined the wards. It's hard to reconcile. Flippin' mad. That's my problem. I want to figure it out, but there are gaps. Point me at the sky. I don't have the answers for you. I can only theorize. I read a thread on PHO a few days ago, and it made me think. I said I think she's someone who was looking hard for an answer. I think she was wounded and lost, and for this reason, and probably because of other factors, she did a lot of damage while looking. The people she was with. Things being primed for everything to fall down. Timing or bad luck. Personality. Flippin' mad. Wounded. Point me at the sky. I'm looking at my history, and I'm having trouble finding the thread. There are people who are searching, I think, and there are people who just are. I think both can be good, and both can be toxic. Some people are searching because of something that pushed them. A lot of capes just are. Some are doing the pushing instead. And there's all sorts of types. I don't know her nearly well enough to say which she was, but I don't think she stood still. Or when she did stand still, it was because she was on a precipice, looking for a push, or for something to push. But again, I don't know her. You would have to explain more about what you want to know for me to give you any more of an answer. Flippin' mad. I pushed her. Point me at the sky. You pushed her? Flippin' mad. I really hope you don't block me or ignore me. I'll try to explain, but give me a moment. Do you remember me? We met a few times, but I think the only time we had a conversation was before the vice versa photo shoot. There were six of us who were around the same age, and the designers were taking a while. Point me at the sky. I remember that. A bunch of non-capes from around the city dressed up as capes, some of us local capes in fancy dress. Skitter wasn't part of that, obviously. Flippin' mad. Yeah. I'm starting back at the beginning. They picked top athletes, valedictorians, bunch of others. You were hanging out with us. 
Shadowstalker and the rest of us were joking around. Point me at the sky. I remember now. Emma? Flippin' mad. Her friend. I'm the short one. It was her biggest shoot ever, and she was super psyched. I tagged along. We were joking around, and you were laughing with us, and the staff were running around freaking out and trying to do last-minute costume changes. You were in fancy clothes, and you had one of those masks on a stick, and Clockblocker was nearby, complaining about having to hold his mask up until Aegis got some ribbon and tied it to his head for him, which made the hairdresser freaked out. Point me at the sky. Aegis. They catered those non-alcoholic soda cocktails with layered colors. We drank them like they were water, and the one woman's eyes bugged out when she saw what the bill was. I felt so sorry for her. We gave the staff so much grief. Flippin' mad. But that was part of the fun. Yeah. It was like a dream. Hanging out with heroes and cool people. Everyone was so fancy, including my friend. It was the one time in my life where I felt like I was one of the teens in one of those overly polished scenes in a teen movie where everyone looks so perfect. I was really, really hoping that they were going to just pull me in as an extra. Because one of the kids they'd invited had backed out. But it didn't look like it was going to happen, and I was having enough fun that I didn't mind too much. I said things, and people laughed at it, and everything was great until then. Point me at the sky. I said something, didn't I? Flippin' mad. You called us a bunch of bitches. Point me at the sky. That was it. Flippin' mad. You said... This was such a nice night, and you C-words had to spoil it by being disgusting. Come on. And then you walked away. And most of the heroes and heroines went with you or whatever, leaving just me and Emma and a couple of others. They 100% went into... I don't know what you call it. Defense mode. They wanted to bring things back to center. Normalize. They were saying things like, It's bugging her. We weren't saying anything that bad. And... I was sitting there being quiet, and I remember thinking they were wrong. We were kind of being bitches, and we were kind of going too far when ragging on people who weren't there. Point me at the sky. The disabled girl, I think. We were having to wait because they were having to adjust her costume to work around her back brace. Flippin' mad. Yeah. We said something loud enough for her to hear from the other end of the room, and you spoke up, and then you went to go hang with her instead. The night didn't seem as magical after all that. I was really bothered. Point me at the sky. I barely remember beyond that. I did the photo shoot, and we tried to cheer the girl up. It was mostly great, and I saw Emma a few times after that, and there were no problems, but we weren't friendly. Flippin' mad. It was the first time in my life I stopped and took stock and asked myself, am I a good person? Point me at the sky. To an extent, you get a pass. To an extent. We were 13 to 20, I think. You were closer to 13 than 20. Teenagers are shitty, and most teenagers make a couple of mistakes. Not excusing it. It sucked as a thing. But teenagers being asshats mitigates it. Flippin' mad. No. I was really fucking shitty. I think it's worse because I had this wake-up call, and I asked myself if I was a good person. Except I never got around to answering that question. I kept putting it off and feeling shitty about it. We kept being bitches. And then a couple of months after that, we put Taylor in the hospital. Skitter. I don't know if she had powers then, but if she did, then I don't know why she didn't murder us all. Point me at the sky. You're the bullies that pushed her over the edge. Flippin' mad. Me and Emma and our friend Sophia and Julia and a few others. But we were the main three or four. Point me at the sky. I feel dumb not connecting those dots before. Preoccupied at the moment, and I was preoccupied then. Fuck me. Emma was one of them? They kept your names out of the media. Flippin' mad. Word still got out. So this is where I am because I almost feel responsible? Or I don't know if I'm responsible. But we pushed her. And after that, she joined bad guys and robbed a bank, and then somewhere after that, the Empire got upset at her and her group and called them out before attacking the city, and right after that, the Endbringer attacked. There were all these theories about why it attacked Brockton Bay, and the big two were that there was a Holy Grail or something? I didn't follow that one. They said it might have to do with why people wanted to control the city? Point me at the sky. A 
target, something that would make the city valuable, or someone. And bringers have gone after specific people before. Flippin' mad. Okay, I don't know. The other one was that the city saw so much fighting in a short time. Taylor was a part of that, and I'm part of what pushed her out there. I know I sound narcissistic and shit, but... Point me at the sky. Are you going to finish that sentence? Flippin' mad. I don't know. I feel responsible. I was pretty much there at the beginning, and I pushed her, and... And it feels like I was at the top of a hill, and I pushed a rock down it, and it rolled down out of sight. And then this rock slide starts further down the hill and wipes out a town and kills this really important person and a whole bunch of other horrible things. And I go looking, and my rock is lying there in the devastation. Nobody's saying what happened. Her wiki page is gone. And people get annoyed or upset when I ask. I want to know what happened when I couldn't see. Every non-answer I get makes it worse. Point me at the sky. She was her own person. She made her own decisions along the line. Flippin' mad. I know that. Point me at the sky. You don't own her. You don't own every decision she made or the whole fallout. Flippin' mad. I know. But I didn't help matters. Point me at the sky. No. You definitely own some of it. Flippin' mad. And you can't tell me what happened. Point me at the sky. I can't and won't. But I guess I can say this. With the evidence we have, we know she did some good things. She did some bad things. She did some incredibly controversial things. She was more vicious and ruthless than she needed to be, maybe. Flippin' mad. Am I responsible for that extra viciousness and ruthlessness? Point me at the sky. Can't say. Neither can you. But it probably didn't fill her with smiles and joy, did it? Flippin' mad. I spat on her once. It was Emma who really got to her and Sophia who went out of her way to hurt her. I was... I put her backpack in the toilet once. Books, notebooks, and all. The water was clear, but it was still the toilet, and yeah. I put glue on her desk and juice on her seat, and I stood by when the others were doing the worst stuff. Point me at the sky. Fucking why? Flippin' mad. I don't know. I never really stopped to think about it. My friend was a model, and my other friend was a top athlete. Maybe I wanted to keep up. I told myself it was prank tier stuff, but at the same time... I'm saying this because this is like I'm confessing, but, like... Sometime between when that photo shoot happened and when we put her in the hospital, we were talking. Emma, Sophia, Julia, and I. We figured we were falling into a pattern... And we kept knocking her down when she picked herself up too much, and I had this moment where I saw she was really low, and I spat on her. I remember the look on her face. What the hell was wrong with me? I didn't wake up to what I was doing till I got fucking caught, which is just so doubly shitty. My parents found out when we all got called to school, and that was the last time I interacted with Taylor. Moved away with Leviathan. I fucking spat on her face. Point me at the sky. Stop now, please. Flippin' mad. Okay. Point me at the sky. Okay. If you kept going, I would have closed this and left you to it. Now I'm going to try to give you your answer here, okay? Even though you probably don't deserve it. Flippin' mad. Yeah. Point me at the sky. Draw your own conclusions. Look at who she was and extrapolate. She did good she did bad. As time passed, yes, the bad things might have faded some, but the controversial stuff she did might have gotten worse. Extrapolate. Flippin' mad. You're saying that's what happened at the end. She did some good and she did some bad, but she did something super controversial? Point me at the sky. I am saying nothing. I am suggesting that if you are wondering what happened when you couldn't see, then you can make some educated guesses. She killed people. She hurt people. She may have played a part in the war over the city. She threatened innocents with bugs and choked more than one person to death or nearly to death by shoving spiders and centipedes down their throats. She killed Alexandria at a time where we needed Alexandria most. She consorted with rapists, terrorists, and monsters. And because it needs to be said, yes, she became a hero. That counts for something, maybe. Maybe she had to. 
maybe not. She was there at the end, and whatever she did, nobody will speak of it, at least for now. Fill in the blank. Now she's gone, and you're still here. Flippin' mad. Gone? She retired, or she's dead? Gone gone? Point me at the sky. She is gone. But listen to me. Because you made the choices, and you carried on when you could have stopped, and you spat on her, and I'm not ignoring that. I've been holding back, so I can get to it now. Flippin' mad. I'm listening. Point me at the sky. She was all of those things, and she might have still been a better person than you. Flippin' mad. Uh. Point me at the sky. Feeling shitty? Good. Is it weighing on you, or eating at you, or making you wonder? Fucking good. That's the way it should be. Carry it. Own it. Make allowances for the fact that you were a teenager, but don't you dare excuse it or ignore it. If owning it means you assume the worst case scenario, that you pushed her and she took action and that line of action ended in the end of the world being uglier than they needed to be, fine. Make do. Maybe things would be better. Maybe they would be worse. Maybe someone else would have taken the same role. Maybe we would all be dead. You might not ever get a clean answer, and that might be her justice against you. Flippin' mad. Yeah. Point me at the sky. All this I'm saying, I feel like I can say it because I have my own regrets and misdeeds. I'm trying to own them just like I'm telling you to. I didn't fucking spit on a girl when she was already having a bad day, or make fun of a disabled girl on what should have been one of the top ten days of her life. But I could probably make a priest's jaw drop if I were the type to visit a confessional. I'm not giving you advice I wouldn't take myself. Carry it. Take it with you and use it as motivation to make things better. We need a fucking lot of that motivation. Flippin' mad. I'm training to be a teacher. Point me at the sky. Then I hope ten times as much that you own this and learn from it. Flippin' mad. Yeah, that's kind of the plan. I want to anyway, but the school turned me down. Point me at the sky. Anything else? Flippin' mad. When do I get to put this behind me? When do I get forgiven, or get to forgive myself? Point me at the sky. You're asking me? Never. I don't believe in forgive and forget. Not for the things I've done. Not for what others have done to people I care about. Not for what's been done to me. The moment we forget is the moment we allow those wrongs to be done again. Forgiveness is the easy way out. Less to carry. Flippin' mad. That doesn't seem fair. Point me at the sky. Villains outnumbered the heroes. Now, heroes outnumber villains. Allegedly. People lost everything, and they didn't deserve to. Some people get powers, and some don't. Things are the furthest thing from fair. Maybe it's not fair that she's gone and you're here. Maybe you will get the answer about what happened, and you'll feel better, and that'll be unfair because you shouldn't. Maybe the opposite is true, and no good answer will come out, and she'll be forgotten without tombstone or anything else. I expect we'll get the answer, and it'll be an unhappy compromise between the two. Flippin' mad. It doesn't seem fair to yourself, I mean. Point me at the sky. I'll handle me. You handle you. You focus on making sure no girl you teach gets spat on, short girl from the photo shoot. It's easy enough to keep something moving once it's already moving, but getting it going in the first place is hard. That's the thing about second chances and fresh starts. It's a restart. You gotta get things moving all over again the second time around. Let's try to make sure things are moving in the right direction. Alright? Deal? Flippin' mad. Alright. Not quite the response I expected. Point me at the sky. I had the impression it's the response you were asking for. Flippin' mad. You might be right. Thanks. Flippin' mad has left the conversation. This was a production of Ward by Parahuman Audio. Ward and the Parahuman Stories are written and owned by J.C. McRae. 
You can find the original text and support the author at parahumans.net. For more of the Ward audiobook, as well as other community works, please visit parahumanaudio.com. Music for this chapter was by Husser. Editing by The Bob. Find more of their work at our website. The credits for this full cast chapter are as follows. Liar as the system voice. Torch-eyed as point me at the sky. Hannibal as flippin' mad. Thank you for listening.